Greetings gamers, welcome to the stream. We are back after like a three week hiatus. <laughs> Ringworm. Ugh. Oh yeah, that's bad. That's bad. Wait, is that the one that goes wait, which what's the one that goes up your dick? <laughs> Cause there's a worm there's a worm that does yeah, that, yeah, right? I, I know, but <laughs> <laughs> I know this is the first not... thing you went to is just well, because that's a that's a that's a that's a strange thing that can happen to people. Yeah, it's not an actual worm. It's like it's like a parasite. But like it hooks into you. It, it, it's not fun. Don't yeah. Don't go swimming in it like the in Brazil like, in Brazil. <laughs> I don't know if it's actually Brazil. But don't, it... don't, okay. Basically, if you're in a jungle, don't go swim in water that you know for a fact is not like sanitized with like chlorine or something. It's fungal. Yeah, I didn't think it was actually a, a worm. What the fuck is it called? Was. Ringworm. I don't know. Blame America. <laughs> I play. Listen, I know we do a lot of bad things, but we didn't. I, okay, who came up with who came up with ringworm? Um, doctor. It's the ringworm. ringworm. Doctor. Near the ringworm. Me. If you see it, you get it. <laughs> <laughs> if you see it. To be honest, it looks like a really fucked up hickey. <laughs> It's a ring like, on your damn. skin. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. This oh, I love when fun. you look up, but I love when you look I up the disease get. and you just see people who get like. I thought it was one of the like. Oh no, I'm thinking of like blot uh, bot flies. You know the ones that like sting humans and put their eggs in them. You. Yeah, I know. And they like they they gestate, <sighs> which is a fun word to say. <laughs> gestate. Years are. They but yeah, we're starting this uh, part <laughs> over again. Many years ago. <laughs> uh, it's been like three weeks, so we need to recap. We are yes, children. Yes. Chuck's got sick. Uh, yeah, I yeah. had a family thing, and yeah. So, uh, uh, let's see. Which one was that? We, we've each voiced one, right? You were the girl in green. So I think that's Selena, because she's the cabbage. Did I voice the cabbage? No, because we, we used the colors of the characters we voiced when yeah. we were in the main game. No, so but they're based off the chompettes. She's the cabbage. Yeah, yeah. Which one of us did the cabbage? What? Which one of us did the cabbage? I forget. I think you did the... Okay. Oh, no, I might have done I might have done the cabbage, but I didn't do... Did I do the cabbage? Hold on, I'm going to just go look up the VOD. I'm, fuck this. I think we did one each, so... I think we interchange. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, okay. Oh, because I clicked cooking campaign. Wait, no, no, no. There, I know there's another girl, so you you just do the... Okay, you do Selena. You do Selena. Raina, check it out. A cabin? Because I did the raspberry, right? Ah, yes. I'm pretty sure uh, I did the raspberry. I did potato. Yeah, I know you did the potato. I think I did the so, blonde-haired kid. The, the potato... Yes. Wait, no. No, no. Potato is a different one. Potato's not in this. I think. Um, not in this? Yeah, potato's not in this. Uh, that guy's bread, I believe. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah, that I guy's did, bread. I did bread. I did bread. I know that because I yeah, gave yeah. him a gave him a southern a cabin accent. all the way out here. What about that psychopath? We lost him a few kilometers ago. Don't worry. I'm kilo kilometers. Kilometers, because <laughs> that's a fun word to say in a southern <laughs> accent. <laughs> Uh, yes, I love kilometers. Doesn't look like anyone's home. Hello? Come on, Raina. Always the there in our walls. Sun is setting. Let's take shelter here, just for the night. Mm, you sure that's a good idea, Selena? Bitch, I know what's a good idea. Fuck you and get your sorry ass over here. Dang. Can't argue with that. Of course. <laughs> damn, damn, I can't. Damn, she is. <laughs> anyway, this is you. Front door has a few different ways to lock it. Should keep it at bay if he shows up. Hope there's some snacks in here. <laughs> Gorsh. <laughs> Gorsh, me. <laughs> the darkness. <laughs> Bolek. What a fucking stupid name. I guess name. we don't have a good choice. We'll head back to. Zacco pain in the morning. Don't worry about it. Oh, so there's like a famine war thing going on. And... Hey, Grandpa, what happened to you? The war! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that was like the background. I, I've already forgotten most of the game for you because it was like four there weeks was... ago. No, because these kids were murdered. We read that yeah, in the yeah, uh, yeah. newspapers. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know the kids are murdered. I'm just mean like 
the background. Come a cabin in the woods. How many games recently have started with you come across a cabin in the woods? Oh, apparently the Slay the Princess is getting a massive uh, update soon. It already had one yeah. massive update, and it's getting another one. Damn, I can't so. wait to be horny more. I, I don't know. Apotheosis. <laughs> Apotheosis. Okay. Oh, you don't know what apotheosis is. I, I do not know. I'm not know. very smart. Uh, it's actually... I don't think we actually got apotheosis in our playthrough. Oh, is it, it one of the voices um, in our head? No, it's one of the princesses. Ah. We got the tower, which was the one that I was really... Uh, we got the demon one, we the got dragon one, the, the mommy gremlin. was the tower. Tower was, okay, the, yeah. was the giant mommy. Yeah, she was the giantess. But, think... uh, but apotheosis is like... If you, if you uh, kill yourself... While talking to Tower, she becomes the god, basically. I see. <laughs> what? The fuck? And she becomes massive and destroys the world. Oh, so you're finished. Yeah. I mean, what? Fantastic. Anyway, continue. It was just for one night. You decide to join with your friends inside. Big fucking air quotes. We need some milk, and is why you own a milk shop. Actually, I can't drink milk. I'm allergic. I can't drink milk either. Why are we? The <laughs> I just realized two people who can't drink milk work like do the same. That's funny. Did you lock the door? All set. Could you see him out the window? No, he probably went back to town. No, we probably went back to town. No, no. <laughs> Gorsh, Donald. Gorsh. The wind can't get us here. <laughs> Is anyone here? Nice. That was the wrong thing. No, he yelled and stopped around. Nothing. Hmm. Hmm. This cabin is abandoned. Let's stay here tonight. Yeah, that's how you check if a cabin... What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Relax, it's going to be freezing outside tonight, so it's either him or us. Let's avoid making a fire. Don't want him to see us in the distance, then you're going to freeze to death. No, 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 no fire? There's oh, blankets right, in the bedroom. We'll right, be fine, calm Oleg. Down. Calm down, boy in the striped pajamas. This cabin chills me to the bone. We'll need him. Yeah, that's not good. Hmm. <laughs> He takes it. Oh my god, I forgot. Bread's the j one that tells all the jokes. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm doing goofy. Gorge. Got one of Razale's classics for you. Gorge. What do you call snowman's children? I can't do this. All right, what do you? Call the snowman's kids. What do you? What, what do you think it is? The snow shot she should have swallowed. Oh. <laughs> Children! I call it yeah. kill yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got a chuckle! I'll take it! Let's spit up and search the cabin. See if you can find any food for us to eat tonight. You're a vampire, but only puns kill you. Count the dot show up! No! <laughs> Dap, there's kids here, we can't. Count the dot show up! I'm getting the fuck out of here! I'll take the bedroom. Leave the living room to me. Raina, I'll search the kitchen. No need to help me. But if you want to help me, help me. You sure? Of course. I know exactly where to look first. In the fireplace, right? Ah! The, wait, oh, hold on. I got the Z Zacopane? Zacopane? Is that how you say it? I, good enough. I, I got the Zucopane Junior Baker Award, remember? I feel like we did Zacopane. I don't remember. Zacopane. <laughs> it's a field pain. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to... Siren Goblin slept it? Selena. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, what did- what did they say? I don't know. Gollum? Alright, everyone. Let's move out! You gotta say a lighter for the serial killer outside. Hey, you guys in there! <laughs> I'm gonna fucking skin you alive! 
Help the team search by the cabin for supplies. Who did we help last time? The other girl. Your bond with Selena, Oleg, and Bullock is unbreakable. Focus. So we focus we help Selena. You're saying? Um, I don't know. Lesbians. I don't. I don't care. You only get one choice to choose wisely. Who do you want to help out first? I feel like we went uh, to the bedroom we... though. Didn't we? Did we help? Cause that's where the the bitch went. I thought we went to the bedroom the last time. No. Though. The Cinderblock Twig Boy, Skeleton Girl, and Hourglass Woman. Are you talking? I'm having a stroke trying. Are you talking about the other characters? I, I don't know. I'm assuming. The because, originals? Like, oh. No, that lady was not bought like Hourglass shit. You're making shit up. <laughs> she was flatter than a board. Selena, so we're helping, we're helping Selena. I guess okay. you're, you're the, you're the streamer. Okay. Oh, Let me help Selena. Only if you insist. What area do you want to search first? The fireplace. This is not what we did last time. <laughs> is it not what we did last it's time? It's not. <laughs> I got oh, an achievement. Wait. Whoa, you got an achievement? Oh no, yeah. you're the hourglass. Shucks, oh no, no, shucks, no. You're right. I agree. Stop searching the kitchen. This is too much work. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, hey. Dapper, look. It's your favorite oh, one. Inside the cauldron, the witch's <laughs> brew. You search the inside of the cauldron. It's very smelly. <laughs> Find anything? Just some disgusting slop at the bottom. Is it... <laughs> That's my piss. <laughs> no. I'm gonna stop. Oh, I need to stop. <laughs> This cauldron is almost big and heavy as your coat. And really? Selena! <laughs> You're covered for fall and winter now. It saves my family a trip to the Zakopane market. I'm gonna throw Selena in the oven and cook her into a rope. Jesus! Right? Me when children. Me when children perish. Wait, no! Time out! I see the food! It's over there! <laughs> Find you. I, so I have no object permanence. <laughs> you know, what happens if you check it again? <laughs> you drink the slop and die. You look inside the oven. Bone fragments? Bone fragments. Selena, found some bones. Chicken bones? Selena looks at the discovered bones. Too big to be a chicken. Not sure. Looks like it came from a, the same animal, but the sizes are different. Hmm. Maybe children bone? Young and old skeletons? She's two triangles and a bony leg. Correct! Put these back, though. It's grossing me out. <laughs> Place the bone fragments into the oven. You feel disgust. Search it one more time. <laughs> You notice a deep trunk in the back <laughs> of the can't. oven. <laughs> you, you found the chicken. It's like something was smashed against the wall and left to burn against it. Why'd the music go away? Something alive crammed into this oven? Why would... Um... The music... St Why not one more time? Uh, this oven reminds you of the one you used in Zacco Pain. Oh, well, it's not the worst oven they could think of. But the brick laying is so much more advanced, and it doesn't smell. Maybe it's time to check on Bolek and Oleg? No. One more <laughs> couldn't hurt. You look around the base of the cauldron. <laughs> Hi, I saw the... Fems outside kids are needed. Fence outside kids are needed. Please teach me their secret. I'll bring him here on Sunday. You won't have to do a meeting. Please teach me the secret. What is this font? Uh, I don't know. It's thick. Look at those A's. Those are thick. Yeah. 
<laughs> but yeah, hi. I saw the fence outside. Kids are needed. Please teach me the secret. I'll bring him here on Sunday. I read it. I so yeah, this is it. yeah. I I know. I know. I'm just rereading it because it's you know. Sans under. This is not comic sans. But anyways, um. So yeah, someone's like, yeah, I'm gonna bring my kid here, and you can eat him. Yeah. No, this is just an average daycare litter. You take the creepy note with you. Check this out, Selena. I found this cool creepy note. Let me read. Did a kid write this? I'm not sure. Either way, it was a kid or an adult who didn't do well in school. What fence are they talking about? I didn't see any fence outside. The bigger question is, what the hell is the secret is? Or who was brought here? Right. If we finish this early, should we just watch the game theory video? <laughs> no, we're, we are not that one street. We are not XQC. We are not. <laughs> Let me check it again. You find a creepier note. The note you found sounded pretty disturbing. <laughs> you just find a, no, no, no. You just find a note addressed okay. to Baba Yaga. Send nudes. <laughs> 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 Send me those Baba Yagas. <laughs> oh, wow. This Mortar and Pestle has gotten a lot of use. <laughs> What's that? Mortar and Pestle? It's a cooking tool, dummy. Used to grind herbs, plants, and seeds. And human bones. And human bones. <laughs> you haven't seen one of these. <laughs> No, you're scaring me. Foolish child! <laughs> Let's go over to Oleg's house sometime. His grandma has one! Sounds good. <laughs> Can you stop the scary good. voice now? <laughs> mm. <laughs> and the cockroaches. Mmm. Delicious. You inspect you the inspect hanging herbs over the seat. Mason 0121 I hunger. Hand over your food and no one gets hurt. This is you. I'm sorry, I just got distracted by uh, Sapphire wanting to eat cockroaches. <laughs> I, love how they, I love how they squirm. <laughs> That's a creepypasta I read once. That thing was fucked up. Anyway. What about these herbs? Are they edible? Don't touch those. <laughs> Why not? Those are a weed. <laughs> They're ancient. We'll probably turn to dust if you touch them. Well, I would probably still eat the dust, though. I will consume dirt. Reyna! <laughs> Never make fun of him. From the dirt I come to the dirt <laughs> I do consume. <laughs> from, the, from the dirt I rise, from the dirt I shall return. <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> Bolek, no! Did you check the cupboards next to the dried herbs? No. Well, fucking do it, dipshit! You know some meat cleavers sticking out of a butcher block. Yeah, it's just been there for like, the whole time I've been here. You equipped the meat cle- Hey! <laughs> a weapon! MD, did someone rob this cabin? Why- Check one no. more time. What's with the meat cleaver, Reyna? You remember that creepy voice you were doing earlier? <laughs> no. <laughs> you like it? Like just a worm. It's still what from the... the butcher block. You're freaking me out. Put that back. No. Put the meat cleaver back. You have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> Did her you eyes still be outside, style? Selena? Oh, the better to cut that. Cu what is Mason on about? <laughs> Reyna, we lost sight of him. <laughs> Put the meat cleaver back. Don't worry, we'll stay upstairs close to it, just in case. Besides, it would scare Oleg too much. True. <laughs> he begrudgingly put the meat cleaver back. <laughs> okay, we made a mistake. We we yes? took one too many. Okay. <laughs> you could have kept that. I got, I was too observant, Dapper. You were too... You, you streamed you too much! You've lost the element of murder! 
These dishes are disgusting. Right? Looks like an insect ate whatever food was left over. Uh, I just want to note, so whenever we took the meat cleaver, they didn't want to change the image, so they just put her over it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they did do that, didn't they? Uh, clever, but not clever enough. I noticed your trickery game. <laughs> Chuck's is smart sometimes. Thick dust on them, too. These must have been left out for quite some time. Whomever owns this cabin must be extremely lazy. I think I think we're good now. What do you okay. think? Okay, I'm gonna go grab dinner. I'll be right back. I think we've checked everywhere, Selena. You're right, rats. Rats! Ah! <laughs> Bad rats! <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Okay, let me get some water. Did you check under the sink? You look underneath the sink. Nothing. It feels strangely cold underneath. Nothing. Alright, let's see what Bullock and Oliga found. Right now? Let's mosey out! Good <laughs> face, though. Was our music still gone? Oh, flashback. Too much Paxi right now? You napping? Why is it dark? I don't know. We ended up in a flashback scene. Ah, a child. Ah, a child! <laughs> the Baba Yaga when he hops in. Ah, a child! <laughs> <laughs> the Baba Yaga when she's not ready. Ah, a child! <laughs> what is worse than a rapist? A child. No! <laughs> <laughs> the Catholic shirt. <laughs> <laughs> the Spanish Inquisition! <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. What's least expected? The Catholic Church or Spanish Cruises? <laughs> <laughs> I remembered. I, I was like, why is he talking about the Catholic Church? Oh, <laughs> I love that bit. <laughs> uh, continue. No, just staring at the clouds. Oh, yeah? You little bitch. Uh, why are you spraying me? Drowning of Marzana is in a few minutes. Let's burn that witch and throw her in the river. I heard you're the one tasked with the burning. You know how to shoot an arrow that's on fire, Selena? What the fuck? <laughs> it's called arsony. <laughs> this is called witchcraft. If I miss, it's just <laughs> arsony. <laughs> if I if I miss, duh. Okay, is that the line? <laughs> Just da, da, et -ble. You can bring the green branch to the... You can bring the green branch to the village this year, Reyna. I got that witch. The frick, Mason. What is happening? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, time to get up and get your head out of the clouds. You remembered some of your past with Selena. I don't want to. No! I'm resuming! Tilly takes you down to the river. Downstream is the witch, Marzana, made of straw and sticks. Her wooden raft won't catch fire easily. I have to aim for the body. For the heart. Marzana well, you know, fires three flaming arrows at Mar Marzana's raft, but nothing connects. When you finally catch up to it, the effigy has fallen down to the water. Let me fish this out, Reyna. Eh, that's not the energy I want. Okay. I really have no idea what Miss is talking about now. <laughs> yeah, no. The weight is surprisingly light. I thought it was bad to touch the effigy after trying to drown it. That's just an old superstition, Reyna. Oh, look, a murderer! <laughs> oh, look, a rapist! Come oh. to touch you up! <laughs> The frick? Whoa, got boop! Anyway, need to burn, then then drown to complete the ritual. What the hell? Across the hell? random, the ringworm is hurting. You know, my I'm boy. sure Matt Pat will explain it to us at the end of this stream. <laughs> <laughs> with our special, with our special guest Matt Pat. Exactly. The former game theorist. <laughs> 
Mr. We're Zona, Pat. we're Zona. Mr. Swim across the seas. Mr. Matt, can I call you Pat? Let all the oh, flowers look. bloom and make the fields turn green. Oh, like, shut the fuck up. Oh, what the hell are you two doing? Helping Marzana back on her feet, Oleg. Now shut the fuck up, Twink. I don't understand what that means. Shut the fuck up. She's light. Come help us get back to the others. I'm not touching that. They all touch it, don't they? <laughs> what a bitch. Touch or no touching. What? <laughs> no, my weakness! Ah! <laughs> Touchilla, no touching. Touchilla, no touching. Count Pokula. Uh, Count Miss Piggy just screaming, shut the fuck up. Uh, uh, were you ever on Facebook whenever they actually had poking? I didn't realize they had removed no, it. No, I've never been on I'm not that old. I was old enough that I remember uh, Facebook. You would used mm. to get on people, whenever you would friend someone, you could go to their profile page, and then you could click a button that would poke them. Okay. And they get a, not a little annoying notification, and then they would poke you back. Mm -hmm. And it was just this poke war thing. And I was sad because uh, I was I, I took my mom's phone to try to poke someone the other day. And nobody poked me back. There, you can't poke anyone anymore. <laughs> Tried to be a little bastard, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> no, they changed their name to Meta. Hmm. Well, Oleg was yelling at you. I felt like you were being watched. But yeah, Facebook was like the thing when I was, whenever I was like 13. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be 20 this month. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I've done nothing. Across the river, you see a strange man pretending to skip stones. Don't touch your Oh, his no. His greasy hair shines in the sunlight. Some of the oils are smeared on his vest. He opens his mouth in an awkward smile. He's his teeth jagged and uneven. <laughs> Walking, Walking away. He heads in the opposite direction of the festival. <laughs> right into the forest. You head over to meet up with Bolek and Oleg. Oh, it's the it's the player. Sorry. Okay, team. Find anything? Actually, I think it's also theorized that you weren't the one who killed uh, the kids. At least okay. the main character from the main story. Yes. It, it's theorized the Baba Yaga possesses. Um, While we're sleeping. Well, yeah, that too, but like, takes control of different people, and that's how mm. it goes. Like, whenever the body gets old, it takes control of someone new. I see. Yeah. <laughs> the body is unwilling. That, that, that was the theory whenever I watched Game TV. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> I read the line. Just some old toys in a drawer. Really old toys. Bolek? I found some pictures. I found a nudie book. <laughs> I... I found his toy boat under the couch. Let me see that. <gasps> Grandma made this boat for him. Razel was here. Razel? Razel? Razen? Ra His name's Razen. Fuck it. Razel. Razen. Raish Al Ghul. Razel? The one and only. Could he still be alive here? Mm, he's eaten. Seeing him again would bring Grandma back from the brink. We have to find him. Agreed. Crew, we need to search this cabin top to bottom. I think I know where he is. Yeah, the big fucking ominous door <laughs> behind them. <laughs> let's find oh, Raz... Rick, sorry, I misclicked. And let's, let's find, find Raziel and... and... Bring him back to Zakopane. Oh, I'm trying it, to see Selena. if I can see the... Deline. Nah, we, I read it. I read it from the stream. I okay, have the stream okay. open. I, I was about to say, I was going to look at it on the stream. Well, like, well, like, come with me. Let's look around up outside. Reina? Look around the cabin and try to find any clues to where Rizel is. That psychopath would still be outside in the woods. I thought you said we lost him! 
Yeah, hey, maybe if us if we had a meat cleaver if you if you hear any of us yell or scream, find us. Okay. Of course, like now I want to know how the other characters reacted to the meat cleaver. <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool. My brother won't let me touch those. Ah! Thanks. We'll all be listening for you as well. I'll be fine. True. Let's move out. Leave it to search the cabin. Lena Bullock and Oleg leave you. Lena, bitch. Anyone? Can I do the obvious? What? Oh, I had to click. Oh, oh god! Please do the scare I wanted you to. Do. Who's there? Nothing replies back. It sounded like it was coming from the kitchen. You walk over to investigate. Hello? Oh shit, that's- oh, I don't like that. <laughs> Is that always open? Nope. We get our own cooking companions. Oh f Oh, oh, I hate that! No, 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 no! Don't you touch you! Never mind. Ella ja sue da cabana. No. No. Você está realmente a pergo. Sai logo desse lugar. Translation? <laughs> um, gibberish. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what language is. Ela me pergo. Oceano. It's a romance Maybe. language. I know that for sure. It sounds kind of like Spanish, but I'm. I don't think it's Spanish. Aqua. Aqui. Why is it speaking a language I can't understand? It's a romance language like Spanish, but I can't Big booty Latina. identify it. Okay. Please don't do a zoom. Already zoomed oh, I in. fucking. And uh, they told us Vusia Fujima Sayama. I'm sorry. I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> do you speak English? Fuck you! <laughs> and no, no, but. Hold on, let me Google translate this one. Give me a second. Hold on. Uh, yes, uh, translate the demon language for us. Yes, uh... Oh fuck, I forget how you do the fucking like... They're probably fine without it, to be honest. And I don't speak Polish very well. It's Polish? No, that's what it's saying. It's Portuguese. Oh. Wait. Yeah, and I don't speak po Polish very well. Yeah, I was thinking it seemed like some sort of Spanish. I was thinking Portuguese, but I was like, yeah, that doesn't it, seem it, right based yeah. on the location. Anyway. But I guess it is Portuguese. Um, yeah, give me a minute. <laughs> I'm just gonna be just... <laughs> I wish we had the earlier, uh... We'll, we'll find out when map Pat I shows should stop us. blabbering. Um... Here, take this. A drawing is pushed out of the cabinet. Yes, demon child. Hey, listen! I don't think I want to listen. Oh, Christ. <laughs> he made some drawings before he died. Is, are we speaking to a ghost? Tell me about parents. Of this, oh, wait, no. give this to his relatives who survived. It 
it's a cage. Or is it the... I don't like that the music stopped! Looks like someone... Oh, no, it did. It's like someone used his whole profits. Are these bars of a cage? Staring at a door? Hmm? You take the cage drawing with you. Is he gone? Is he gone? Is he gone? Is he gone? He's still, he's still there. He's still there. I do, oh, I don't like it because I can barely see what it is. Besides, it's a person. It's like a little gremlin child. I guess this is goodbye. Or no, is the way. I guess this is goodbye. Uh, hold on, let me. Oh my god, look how fucking long these are. There's probably a way to translate uh, text from images. We will probably never cross paths again. Oh, he's and, gone. And like that? It's fucking... There's a baby in... Is there a baby crying? There was. Did something else happen? Nope. 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 <laughs> nope. Ah! Nope. 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 Ah, death approaches. <laughs> Selena Oleg Bolek. No reply. Where are we going now? Oh, thank God. Raina! We saw something weird down the hill. Looked like an old fence with bones all over the ground. It could have been animal skulls, but couldn't tell from the distance. Heard some weird whispering before we got back to the front door. Find anything? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Strange whispers coming up from under the kitchen sink. In You're Portuguese. right. I don't believe you. The trees. They speak Portuguese. Okay. <laughs> whispers. Was it a ghost, Rhina? I'm, I'm not sure. I couldn't understand any of the words. Hmm. Ghost. Uh. Bullock attempts to line the mood a little bit. Got uh, another of Rizal's jokes for you. What do ghosts like pouring over their food? Bullock. What, what do you think the answer is going to be? I, I don't know. Ectoplasm. You have left the stream. Later, Mason. Uh, <laughs> I have done this. Give up. Gravy. Gravy. Bad timing. Bolek told a joke. <laughs> <laughs> this was the wrong day. <laughs> hey. I figured it was when it was messing with you. It was probably just the creaking of the cabin, Reina. You dumb bitch. The cabin creaks in Portuguese. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, this cabin got some creeps. <laughs> That's not Portuguese. I was about to say. That was funny. No such thing as ghost. The fucking. You, no, you know what would have been great? As she said that, something slides past the window. Oh, true, true. It seemed pretty real, pretty real, Selena. Well, if you see it again, let me know. That fence outside was absolutely terrifying. We can't let our guard down here. Yeah. Can can we not split up anymore? I'm scared of getting separated now. Of course, Oleg. All right, gang, let's split up. <laughs> We're a team, and teams no, stick it's... together through thick and thin, like this. This is not a do. time to nut. This is yeah. This is really not a time to nut. Rain or shine. Feast and famine. I prefer feast. <laughs> I prefer the latter, not the former. You're right, Selena. <laughs> I just don't want to lose any of you, like Raziel. 
that won't happen when we're together, Oleg just fucking snatches him. Oleg, you're an A now, well, can you stay guard while we sleep? Of course. Thanks, Boleg. <laughs> Thanks, me. Oleg and I will take the bedroom. You okay with the living room? Yeah. I'm noticing a trend. Thank you. Bolek, wake us up if you see or hear anything. You got it. <laughs> you hear the Burger King ad. Oleg instantly head to the bedroom, opening the door fully behind them. I thought we were okay, we weren't gonna split up. Although we have to, someone has to sleep though. You lay down on the couch and quickly fall asleep. Then they can take shifts. Yeah. True. There is an easier way to do this. <laughs> you close your eyes, but I cannot stop thinking about the butcher of Zeko Panther. I'll be right back. I'm, I'm gonna save my dinner for when I'm. His done. third victim probably had it the worst. <laughs> yeah. Stab in the stomach like the other two. This one was different. I was missing both ears, so investigators concluded it was a copycat to a series of grisly murders from years ago. Na 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 na. What kind of person would take someone's ears? You're no evil. Some family as a neighbor searched the murder scene top to bottom of the alleyway outside. All he could find was a broken window that the butcher used to get it, to gain entry. It's a mystery that nobody in Zakopane could solve. So Selena, Oleg, Bolek, you teamed up to find the killer. Selena was naturally the leader, plotting out vantage points on dusty maps lose. and grandfather. We stay winning. Gang gang. Your uncle lost an heir in the war? Think you mean an ear? <clears throat> Bolek brought snacks and what he called emergency rations. It was usually crusty bread from his pocket. Oleg was able to get investigation tips from his grandmother, former detective, but only after telling her it was to find Razia. Your investigations lasted more than a year, often to get into crime scenes quicker than town investigators. Uh, so we're like the Scooby Doo crew. <laughs> this ain't our first rodeo, apparently. You have a strange dream. Oh no, no. Oh, 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 not the dream. I have to wait for Dapper now. Give me a drink of water. Not of correct does it sometimes. Not of correct just does that. Still dark. I don't like. Yeah, I I saved it because there's probably something spoopy coming up. You have a strange dream. But uh, we we were talking. Apparently, we're like the Scooby Doo crew. We've been looking for our uh, for Raziel for over a year now. We've been we've going been to the, we go. We've been looking at crime scenes and stuff. We're like the Scooby Doo crew, apparently. Okay. And now we've found the killer. And <laughs> you found the body early, so early. But what is still leaving the body? The greasy haired man makes eye contact with you, wiping the knife off his vest. You look for a way to escape, but you're trapped in the alleyway. He slowly walks towards you, forcing a laugh that comes out in unnatural, staggered sickness. As he gets closer, you notice his pupils are absolutely enormous! A son of a bitch! <laughs> Don't do that! <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to. I'm gonna fuck it. One of these days. <laughs> to the, to one of these days. To the you moon. You should drink some water. I just did, but well, alright. Uh, here comes a giant fist. <laughs> As he brings the knife up, his face peels apart by the lips, screeching in pain to agony. You wake in a cold yeah. sweat. We already know, it's right after this. There, but as soon as I click this, there's going to be a scary thing. Yeah. Oh, fuck! Wake up, everybody! I heard a noise! Gorge. <laughs> oh, look, it's like 3 a.m. I heard something outside. I got real scared. 
It was one of those crows they never shut up. It's him. Huh? Selena? It's him. What's the plan? This is the group's secret hand signal. Only whispering is allowed now. Stairs. What if there's this room down there? No, not this. Not again. Okay, Tama, can we see anything in the... No, there was enough. I didn't see anything there unless you... Okay. I was I was looking because I was looking at the spot where it was the last time. Fuck. I didn't see anything. I can't see storm clouds in the distance. <laughs> Fuck. Maybe we get too muddy for him? Also, I just want to know how through. deep this actually goes. Can you imagine how much rainwater it would take in the flood up to here? Yeah, I've noticed. That's a very supernatural rain. I mean, this is a supernatural play. One of us is thicker. He tries to break. Oh, okay. If he tries to break it, Would everyone would hear it. Whoever built this cabin definitely was here for the long haul. Oh, thank God. See anything, Marina? Nothing. I'll keep and watch. I found this in the bedroom. <laughs> hey, here. What a lovely drawing. That's, that's going on the fridge. That's him. And that's... something. What the hell is this? Pretty fucking obvious. Did Razel make this? It had to be him. Also, I thought we said whispering voice there. When we found the body stuffed into the barrel, that creep saw us and ran. Who would do something like that? A monster. That's right, Reyna. That was the last time we saw him. What was that noise? Oh, oh frick. What? He's in. You hear that? It stopped. He's in. Oh, he Oof. Get to the staircase now. Oh, that. As you run the staircase, you have to stay by the front door. He wipes his Watch. eyes with his sleeve, fully drenched from head to foot. He attempts to smile, but it looks completely out of character. You slow down your breathing, making up the staircase safe. Oh. Oh, frick. Someone takes yeah. the basement key, locking the door behind- This seems like a terrible idea! Yeah, no, this is an awful idea. There. I should slow him down. It won't stop him. Whispering oh, again. Wait, I can... Of course. the booze. I don't think that's a good oh, idea. They can't Mr. drink. Chairman. All right, we'll be right behind you. You begin your descent. Oh, fuck. It's this shit again. It's my ghost in the graveyard tonight. <laughs> good time for a flashback. 
I mean, hey. Uh, your life is probably flashed for your eyes, to be honest. I mean, also, it's just the fact that they need a way to segue from us being at the top of the stairs to the bottom of the stairs with nothing it's happening. It's too dark. Also fair. <laughs> That's the biggest run. <laughs> what if one of the adults catches us? We're faster than them. You we sure about that? Last time, and then I got my fucking high and it turned into a fucking tomato. Yum. Raina, you game to be the ghost first? Why me? Because your eyes can see in the dark the best. You're actually a cat. The perfect ghost! Selena. <laughs> so here's sure. my favorite thing is they didn't need to they they could they were too lazy to make a new background, so they just dimmed the uh the PNGs. I'll go ahead and first. Put them in a back. It's fun learn making fun of RPG maker things. Hey, a leg? Yeah? You were slurping Bullock with a stomach full of herring last time. Pick up the pace this time. Trust me, won't happen again. He's dying first. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, kids, go die of that! Nobody trusts you, Oleg. Me when, me when children really mapped in dot PNG. <laughs> <laughs> like, Zoink School? I have to kill the children. You. Are you approaching me? <laughs> have some equipment at the sawmill. We die. It's dead tonight, boys. Grab the wine. We're just gonna fuck these fuckers up. Took the group two hours to find you. By the time Selene yells, Ghost in the Graveyard, you already tagged. You already tagged Bolek and Oleg. Ah. <laughs> You're too fast, Reyna. <laughs> I'm gonna die last. Nobody sneaks up on me. Nobody. I fucking know it's coming. Oh, we're still at the top of the stairs. What's stair. going on? Uh, nothing. Just remembering something. Oh, look at all that went ahead. There's no time for this. We need to go. Snap out of it and begin your descent. For realsy this time. For realsies. Must be searching for kings. What an idiot. You must be furious to be causing that much damage. Oh, like, find a light switch down there. Yes. Get in position. We'll be right down. That lock is doors keep busy. He's fucking throws. <laughs> Just throws the other kid like a fucking bat. Uh, also, I just want to point out. We don't even know, like, uh, there's... This basement has to have, like, the best sump pump in the world. Yeah. <laughs> also, we know for a fact this basement has two keys. Yeah. There are two basement door keys. True. This is you, by the way. This is that door is pretty old, though. Did you see the holes in it? He's coming down! <laughs> Run! Are we gonna see more of him? Rise, trying to see further down the staircase. We can't hear him. Just try to knock him down the staircase. It'll probably be funnier. <laughs> Just. You're smaller, Venom. Use your use your Press smallest your advantage and make, make him fall. Raina, we have something special to introduce you to. Someone special. Razel, come on out. Don't be shy, Razel. Raina won't bite. <laughs> do you, do you want to do it? Or, or is this potato? I'm not sure. Might be. Nice to meet you, Raina. I could. Yum. Do you, do you want to do it? Do, do it if you want. I, 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 I. It's okay. Your cousin is great, Bullock. <laughs> Just wait, everyone. Give it a little time. He has the world's best puns. 
Did someone say Sapphire is every mean? single one. Grandma told him. <laughs> Who gave you Sapphire? Bought me the same person who made my model? Okay, Grandma bought me this book. Maybe did. I read the line, by the way. Rizel, this is 500 pages long. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone laughs with it, enjoying a nice meal together with Bolek's family. It tells countless pun jokes. Bolek howls with laughter and the adults shake their heads in agony. And then here come his joy is infectious, making Zekopan a better city for everyone. Okay, so there is another ending where there's another bread type, I believe. Mm. So I think Razael's actually the other bread. I don't know. We didn't get that ending in the game yet, but... I, I don't know. I, I haven't looked at this game since we yeah. stopped. Except for one. Hmm? Raina, you're slowing down again. So, Razael. What about him? I'm thinking. I see. I... E. Cool, let's keep going. Continue downward. Oh, wait, did we ever get to see what the basement actually looks like? No, we like? did not. Oh! You saw a place you shouldn't have. What the hell? So let's is examine this? the torture chamber. Uh we got birdcage, 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 birdcage. But we know where the cages are. Oh wait, look at the fucking hole. Yeah. In the bottom. There's a giant hole in the in like it's the It's wall. like it leads further down in there. No, yeah, no, 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 no. I, I see also, that too. I see that. Yeah. Oh, there is a stairwell. That is a stairwell. Yeah, there's a stairwell in the center and there's another big hole there. Okay. I read we read the thing. What? The lad isn't working. I don't think you want it to work. Out. No time to find a weapon in here. Let's keep going down. Wait, is, the, is this slowly lightening up? Or is it just me? That might just be. <laughs> that would be an interesting effect, though. Like, because, you know, your eyes adjust to the dark. Yeah. Um, I can't tell, yeah. actually. It seemed like, I don't think it is. It, it seemed like for a second for me, but I just put my eyes. Okay. See a light running down the staircase. You don't want to know why. Why? Why? So this is all new shit. Your shoes, your shoes stick to the floor at the bottom. You can barely Lessons make out the light. Never the door on the right, east. There's three other doors: north, south, and west. Talon tries the door to the north first. Locked. This room is tiny. How are we going to get around it? Don't be scared. Let's try the doors and see if we can lock it from the inside. Which way, Reyna? Which way, cowboy? You save. True. You should uh, make a funny little save. You should save yourself now. You should save now. So, which door was open? The east one? Okay, so not that one. West. Let's go south. That seems good. <laughs> it, it's a fucking jump scare. Going south to the land of Dixie. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Locked. The door handle feels oddly warm. It's a furnace, probably. Okay. Yeah. You, Selena, Oleg, and throw open the door, turning around to see him. Oh, it's the... Oh, we... I didn't realize this was us. Leave we look us like alone. we don't... We look like we don't care. <laughs> we look very... Yeah, leave us alone. You left the knives upstairs. We should take the meat cleaver. It's four against one. Leave with your life. Wait. Oh, hold on. You see the hand? What? The, there, 
This is set up so they can just take out the layer that has the meat cleaver in it, I think. Ah. <laughs> I might be wrong, they, but... I mean, oh, well, now... God damn, we'll have to go so far. Okay, continue. Do, do you think I'm right? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Say Say hi, hi, to to for me. I have two <laughs> Is that him killing us or don't know. Cooking companions. I think we lost. That didn't explain shit. Game? Uh, www. Why? Potato. Why? You shut the drawer. Wee, oh my, did you see their fucking I did, faces? I did. It's hard kick, to not see that. Onion. Onion. Bread. They're being held by their... They are being held back by their human emotions. They'll need a few months more at the very least. I am in no rush. Let us leave. Now! You shut the drawer. I'm noticing a trend, though. Who's... I'd like to explore the cabin. See where those whispers are coming from. Can I leave the drawer? You nod. Thank you. Want to come with Raspberry? I'm going nowhere with you. <laughs> poor, poor Raspberry. The raspberry really hates potato. Welcome! He's done a few annual Chomvet comedy competitions since last time. Won't be the judge this year. Ignore them. I found some fascinating stuff by using the mouse holes. I need you to explain what the hell this is. Yeah. The Binding of Isaac? <laughs> <laughs> were you fattening him up? Or were you scaring the hell out of him with while you hesitated? You take the basement drawing with you. Who? Wait, what the fuck is happening? I never forgive you for this. You shut the drawer. Wee, cabbage! It's, it's time! Chompette, sound off! Onion. Never fear, Onion is here! Like my cousin Cornbread says, I'll rise to the occasion. Wait, oh, I hate that! I saw that. Oh, I hate when it does I that. I saw it out of the corner of my eye. Oh, he's Mary Raspberry! Oh, 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 I don't like that. It's a potato? P potato? You have nothing to give me now. Leave me alone. This is the only way to escape, Potato. You need to leave at the same time. I'm not leaving the cabin. Potato, please. 
take potato. We want to see red. No. Razael? Abbott shows whispering, but you can clearly hear every word. Can not release us? Just play along. Maybe they'll pity us. Yeah. I'm not working with them. Uh, right now? I pity them. Just an old, disgusting, foul-smelling... That's enough! What's up, Shinji? Potato's words cause a regression to stir inside of you. Keeping these intruders around might be entertaining for now. You slide the drawer closed, giving them time to stew on their thoughts. So, I think we'll go back and see if we can keep the uh, meat Leaver. cleaver. Don't miss the sequel! Oh. Red Wait! As Baba Yaga. As spoiler. <laughs> Music by Buff Lady. I like the Buff Lady. Dread Wait. Cutscenes by Oh. Oh! More animation by David Romero. This looks like it's gonna be fun. Follow us in Wishlist. <laughs> okay, fine. No, I, mean, I think we, I think we get Trump it. Trumpet's origins. Or I think there's some. Oh, the, 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 you're the heartbeat. Yield the potato face stream. Karen melting video? <laughs> Knocking of the door, Chompette's goodbye song. I feel like we've I missed a screams. lot in this. I don't know. We well, th the only other things we have is we have. Uh, we didn't check yeah. with the others, and we didn't uh, check the Grab, cleaver. We didn't get the neat cleaver. <laughs> also, we didn't try going west. We went east. The game theorist, the food theorist, Fusion Z Gaming. Uh. Fiznom. Fiznom! Fujin Mike. Hashtag cooking companion. Manly badass hero. I'm looking for all the ones I know. And you. you! Fuck you! <laughs> I don't like that it's a heartbeat. Ooh, why is it dark? Uh, it's a back. Oh. Special thanks to Strangely like Cooking Companions. In case there wasn't anything, but this doesn't seem like it. You have a strange wait, wait. nightmare. Wake up! She'll never forgive you, Undying Rage. I said... Wake up! What the heck's going on? The others? Oh, <laughs> what the? Are causing you to become weak. Hey, Kata. We need to get you back to your... You back to normal. Less talking. Less hesitation. Especially. Especially if someone's trying to become stronger than you. But that used to make you upset, right? I'm keeping an eye on you. Ask for how long? At this rate, never. Covering potato in a fine mist. You are beyond disgusting. So then, what is going on? Are you ready to fight back against the nightmares? Punish the spirits that have made your life a living. Let us give them no quarter. 
close your eyes again, and let's begin to traverse the abyss. Is this the update? You relax your muscles, getting ready for what's next. <laughs> Sorry, just, I got distracted by the chat. I am not gay! <laughs> it's called gay. Person above gay. I am not gay, damn. Welcome to nightmare mode. Wait, what? If you survive, you will gain some additional insight to the world of cooking companions, as well as an unlocking new game plus and a chomp that's only event. This mode is mostly just a joke, so don't take it seriously. From the main menu, you'll select new game. You can immediately jump to this mode or other ones. If you're making it to the end, you'll unlock the Chompet's Cabin Courses, a Chompet only event free of humans. From the true cooking companion experience, this mode should be played in a pitch black room with headphones. <laughs> or jump scares. Oh, if you still need to mix up your relationship, don't worry. You'll get the opportunity to do so in New Game Plus. You should really make a manual save right now. Don't hesitate. Why does the game feel it needs to tell me this? Thank you for getting this for. Your bravery is commendable and will be rewarded. Have a jump scare? Thanks for playing, dear Dream Studios. Oh, almost forgot. Ah! Nightmare mode activated. You wake up in the bed bathroom again. No. Oh, fuck! <sighs> It's the I'm scared. This is my room. Do you see how dark it is? It's cold. It's the I'm scared face. With the it, it has the news from I'm scared too. But I can look at you. Look at me. I don't want to. Are you scared? I'm unsettled. But I am scared. You wake up in a cold sweat. Your surrounding is completely different. And there's a fucking lady! It's the ghost of, uh, what's her face? Oh, Christ. What? Maria's presence is rage. She's beckoning you to follow her. Get up and leave the bed. It's a beautiful sunny day outside. I have no idea what the frick's going on. <laughs> what do you think? What a fitting end to such a horrible nightmare. You head to the kitchen for some breakfast. Ah! Seems accurate. This will take ages to clean. Good job, Yabla. I'm sorry, what? That po you take a few bites of meat. You lost more of your humanity. You stare into the ash pile in the oven. Are they still upset? Head back to the bedroom to take a nap. Oh, frick. Which one of them is causing this? Maria? And totally? Gregor? K. Who's K? Oh, K Karin. Karen. You crawl into bed and fall asleep. You have a strange dream. Day. 616. I want to get the 626. What the frick? What the fuck? Uh, you know, I just want to see what happens if I sit here for a second. I'm just curious. You know? Is he, is he gonna do something if I just sit here for a minute? I hate this game. Love your avatar? Thank game. you. Thank you. I hate this Let's game. Let's go, Lexi. I'm opening my phone. Fuck this. Extras are gone? Oh. Oh. Escape. What if I don't want to? What if I don't want to escape? 
Huh? What if I want- You know what? I'm not trapped in here with you! You're trapped in here with me, you frick! No, we are super trapped in here with him. Okay, fine, fine. Closes the game. I forget, what did I do? Kareen, or was Kareen. it you? You were Kareen, I was... Wake yeah, no, up, sleepyhead. Kareen? Karen. Escape the basement. Erin? Wait, which one is this? No reply. Is this the blonde headed bitch? Uh, redhead. This was me then. That was me. I was her. I remember. I think I took her over in the last half, I forget. Yeah, because we lost, like, half the cast. Yeah, yeah. We needed someone to voice. The to investigate. The joke is, this is a joke, new game, but you should really... Yes? Another trick by one of them. Son of a bitch. Stop talking in my ear! I don't like it! I don't know what you're saying. Are you Portuguese, or are you... I don't speak gibberish! <laughs> I, I speak always speak American. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I speak freedom and correct. <laughs> Who's still missing, Karen? No. Oh. Someone is tapping on the window. No, 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 no. <laughs> Stop looking at me with them big old eyes. That's supposed to be creepy, but that's a way funnier. <laughs> yeah, it's way funnier than it should be. I can't get the taste out of my mouth. You don't have one. Are you done, Antoli? They're getting more bold in their actions. You head to bed to sleep on it. God, we sleep a lot. Yep. Six one six. Six six six. six. Oh no. Hmm. Oh no. Oh no, the number. The floor of the, the, the first floor of the, the, the cabin. Wake up, sleepyhead. Karen? Come with me to the living room. I think Maria wants to say something to us too. Don't argue. Call out of bed to face them. I'm getting tired of this shit. Slender man, slender man, does whatever a slender man does. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah. We've been waiting all day. Be satisfied by this opportunity. Would you like to start the ritual? The ritual. A ritual to manifest alternative possibilities. Mistakes mended. Regrets unrooted. Let the hours depart earlier than me. Let me survive this time. Oh, hey, we're getting new options. This means new game plus, baby. Join hands with us and form this pack. This ritual is unlike anything you've ever heard of. Agreeing to the pact could result in horrors worse than death. Anger channeled and linked extremely dangerous. This means there'll be no going back from this decision. Frick you! I make my own <laughs> rules, bitch! Think carefully before making a decision. Sure, this might be a good time to save the game! <laughs> Have you made a decision? You not. I'll save him right. You know what's funny? So, I, I just want to state, in games like this, uh, I don't know if they always just pick the character that I think everyone's gonna be like, this, oh, this is our favorite. Because, 
every single time, because it's always scripted to be Mariah that dies first. Mm-hmm. And in Doki Doki, it was Sayori. But every single time, I always pick that one to max out my relationship with. Yeah, every time. <laughs> Without fail, it will always be the one that they choose to kill off first. I'll save her up. Wonderful. Take my hand. Take Karen's hand. I refuse. You hold onto both of their hands. Ice cold to the touch. No, wait, is the, uh... Is the Dread Weight uh, trailer just canon to this universe, then? <laughs> I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't get paid for this. You've chosen correctly. I'm proud of you. See you soon. You're breathing because the, uh, the frost collects on the window. One of your eyes rolls backwards, causing you to drool a little bit on the floor. You had brain damage. Something has gone horribly wrong. Oh, hey! Hey, it's guys! It's my sleep paralysis, Stevens. Hey, I'm Earthbound. <laughs> Anatoly picks the shortest stick first, leaving the cabin. Then Gregor goes. Then Karen. Hey. Wait a second. Just Monica? Just you and Monica! <laughs> not, not again! Thank you for getting me through all of this. Eating the meat breaks most people, but not her. She is a cannibal. The storm clouds dissipate. The sun comes out again. I'm so happy this is you. I'm so happy the storm clouds have gone away. I I couldn't have done this without you. Sorry. Maria's eyes widen, looking into yours. I just realized, uh, the text box is now home. Oh! <laughs> this house in this grill is just a grill. <laughs> this, this grill is not a home. I don't remember the song. Not the place I know. No! <laughs> I'd give it all the way if you'd come back to stay. This kitchen's not the same without, without you. you. It's Man. just a grill. It's okay, just continue. a grease. I was. You can't just interrupt me like that. I was peeking out there, okay? You can't just this interrupt me. I am my... the streamer, Dapper. This is the peak of my career. <laughs> Everything's downhill. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I want to stay here and take care of you. All my life, I've been looking for my true calling. And it was Damn, you that all you along. can't cook for shit. No need to ask me the question again. I no, oh, that's the correct answer to the question. I am here seventy-five percent of my own will. Sixty-five percent by compulsion. That, that's what you're supposed to answer the Baba Yaga. That's wait, how you. What? That's the only answer that allows you to live. What is, was? Wait, what? What's yeah. the question you have to ask Baba Yaga? Uh, the Baba Yaga asks you if you're here of your own for real, or if someone has sent you. Oh. And you have to enter this, you have to say this specifically. Or, do you come here of your own free will, or do you come here by compulsion? Or have you come to do deeds, doff youth, or to flee from deeds? Why should you worship me? Um, so yes, yeah, so it makes no sense, but that's. So Baba Yaga asks correctly. questions that make no sense. Yes. How did she know? <laughs> How could she have what could I bet your art is extremely bothersome? No, it's just it's just like the super troll version of the you know the Japanese monster where it's like uh, it's a woman wearing a mask. Uh-huh. And uh, she takes it off and she's got like the slit mouth. Yeah. And she's like, she asks you, Am I pretty? What's the what do I uh You have to tell her she's pretty, but uh she'll know if you're lying too. 
I mean, I'm a monster fucker, so I'm, I'm safe. <laughs> But this is like the troll version of that. It's such a specific answer. <laughs> Am I ugly? Do you uh, want me to show you no, a special you're... technique my grandmother taught me to help with the pain? You nod. Great. Sit down in the rocking chair and let me get to work. What the fuck? Watching intently as Maria comes back with a towel and a bucket of water. We've somehow uh, acquired the Mary Mariah ending. <laughs> this is the ending. <laughs> This is right. this is what all men want. This is this is what capitalist America wants. I hope this is the start of a beautiful relationship. No. Close, Close your eyes and relax. Close your eyes, smiling as Maria gets closer to you. She then fucking drowns you. She just stabbed you. Mariah throws ah. to the ground, sinking the knife into your chest. finally over. No more victims. No more grieving parents. Your reign of terror is over. You're slowly bleeding out. It's taking longer than expected. Wait, maybe I, maybe I actually was right about the time loop thing. Maybe it is a time loop, but I'm, also not? I, I don't know, it's so weird. The game doesn't fucking Because they're shit. like, this time spare her, and it's like, I, I don't know. But that implies it's a time, but it, it, game. I don't know. Is this even our, is this just in our own head maybe at this point? Where this is an event where we've allowed her spirit, we went through it again with their spirits. It's not actually them is, I don't know. I can't tell I'm, anymore, um, dude. It's okay, Matt, that's going to explain everything to us. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going to tell everyone in Sakopane about what happened here. Once all the remains are recovered, I'm burning this hut to the ground. She becomes the killer now. Trying to get out a few words, but one lung has completely collapsed. Don't talk. Karen begins fading as you're losing consciousness. Unlike, I'm taking no chances. Going to watch you die in front of me. Then ash. Project finally gets a stain removed off the earth. A storm cloud lifts off every town. Well, this is the ending you wanted. After the events in the Tardis Mountains, Maria embraces her destiny. Lessons of the cavern would break most people, but Maria uses it to become a stronger person. After burying Antoli Gregor and Karin or Karin, she works with the Polish government to eventually return home to Ukraine. In April of 1945, Maria is elected to attend a conference in San Francisco. She is picked over Dmitry at the first meeting of the United Nations. Is this like alternate history shit? I called. Elected the first committee, she helps create the preamble in Chapter One with the UN. Years later, she would go on to form a committee to investigate atypical beings, the SCP Foundation. Wait a second. <laughs> Limbus, using the cabin as a blueprint, countries around the world begin to document the numerous abomin abnormalities, abnormalities impacting everything from death rates to food prices. Then the committee investigations revealed that many historical events were swayed, either directly or indirectly, by these atypical beings. Maria provides expert testimony for many of the trials that took place. The books and notes found in the cabin gave helpful insight for prosecutory efforts around the world. When she reaches 85 years old, Maria becomes bedridden due to cancer. Oof! But surrounded by loved ones, she tells everyone in the room about the cabin that's still there. I miss them. Anatoly. Greg. Karen. You can leave this earth happy, knowing I shared their memories with all of them. But you didn't burn the cabin. I'm sure Gregor would be laughing right now. On March 15th, Mariah finally passed away due to complications and cancer. Drawn to our loved ones, her legacy is one of service and warmth. 
activities become safe again. Children can explore freely. The world is now a better place from her actions. Or is it? Cooking companions. What the fuck is happening? Hi. You're beautiful. Can we can we go back? I I, I, I can't tell what part of this is like. What well, is happening? What if we reject the proposal? Could we would could you? I didn't even realize you had a choice. Reject their offer. You wasted them. You wasted this opportunity. Rot in hell. You passed some sort of test. Was it the right decision, though? No. What did? What is the right decision? They misspelled it. What is the right decision, though? Crawl back into bed, still shaken from the experience. Achievement. You are a horrible person. The sheets are drenched in sweat. You catch something moving out of the corner of your... Roll back into bed to see what it is. It feels like 3. Yeah, yeah you know that feeling? I don't, I don't know that feeling. It's just 3 a.m. <laughs> I can feel it in my bones. It's wait a second. Wait a second, Dapper. What? Look where my mouse is. You can't see it on the stream. Hold on. What's wrong? The very bottom right. Oh, hi. Hi there. What you doing? Nothing is moving around the basement any bedroom anymore. Mainly because it's in the floorboard. It's gone. Just your imagination again. Oh my god. I saw it on the Discord stream, because that's the one I'm primarily watching. Yeah. Yeah, to the basement door. Why? Is... Still alive? Cold wind blows through the cracks in the door. This isn't the one. We killed her, though. What the fuck? Oh. You wake in a cold sweat. The jump scare again. I'm in the bathroom. You wake up on the cold bathroom floor. The door is locked. Did one of them hide the key in here? Hmm. Where do you want to check first? In the garbage under the sink. Look at... You get ready to look at your reflection. I didn't want us to do it before, so now I'm curious. Nah. Nah. Fuck off. Bitch! Inside the mouse hole. The mouse hole seems perfectly rounded, like someone used sandpaper on the edges. Did the chompettes do this? And the garbage can or the sink is awfully specific. That's probably where it is. Then look under the tub. You check the garbage can underneath the sink. It's empty, like your soul. Okay, it's gotta be under the tub then. Mouse poops and dust have gathered underneath the tub. This needs to be swept. Uh, we need to look more closely in one of these, apparently. You look in the back of the garbage can. Just a gigantic spider back here. Disgusting. Mm, that's up again? No. There's, just, there's some scratches on the side of the tub. What happened there? Check the asshole again. The house is out of pitch black. Would the flashlight be helpful? It might aggravate whatever horrors lies in wait. I want to do it. Stick your arm in the mouse hole? Yes. You slowly put your entire arm in the mouse <laughs> hole and feel around. Yeah, good job. Hello, hello small chat. You feel the chilly presence of something behind you. He is pushed into your hand. You pull your arm out, lifting the toilet seat to take a celebratory bathroom break. 
Your hands are shaking uncontrollably from the whisper. The key has fallen into the toilet. Aw, oh, darn it, I dropped it again. The key has fallen into the toilet. Reach into the filthy toilet to get the key? Yes. Fucking, this is the only way to get out of the bathroom. Plunge your hand to the toilet. Get, grasping blindly for the key. It must have gone down the pipe. Oh, fuck. That's not the poop I was expecting. Uh, oh, wow! Rosemary! You really put your hand into a filthy backed up toilet, huh? Oh, you gave me a scare. This seems to be a new low for you, huh? <laughs> Are you finally going to wash your hands now? The sink isn't working. Oh. oh, wow. Will the bacteria be the thing that does you in? Such a pathetic end for such a terrible life. <laughs> that key wasn't even for the bathroom door. That was the key to the Chompest treasure box. You really stepped in it this time. Ha 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 ha. Cabbage told me I had to rescue you from this. I wanted to let you starve to death here. She insisted. Here you go. Raspberry unlocked the bathroom door. This is the last favor you'll get from me. Goodbye, wretch. We let out a deep breath and exit the bathroom. Time to end this. Open the door and get ready for it. It's already dead, though. Yeah. It's just a staircase. Nothing to be scared of. Begin your descent. Spirits aren't active right now. Continue downward. I think the whispering says otherwise. Yes, the goat. Oh. Interesting. The walls down here, they're dirt and soot. It's not back. We keep moving down. I don't trust. The air, air pressure down, down here feels greater. Good. Getting closer to with each step. Something is approaching. approaching. Is this the thing we did last time? Because I remember we had this thing where, like, Anatoly would show up. Or, I think it's Mariah, the first one. I don't like this. Don't you freaking dare. A false alarm. <laughs> don't you freaking dare. Son of a bitch. Are the spirits below going to spring a trap on you? You continue downwards. Fuck you! <laughs> oh, just blood now. You hear something in the distance. Baby! Crying baby. Hey! I think I'll just continue onward, you know? Oh. Um. Oh fuck! The Portuguese child is back. Dapper translate. Son of a bitch! I closed it. Yes. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm so lost here. This is what it is. That's what it said. I'm so lost here. Are you cold? Shake yeah. your head. Uh, oh. Wait, okay. Something conversation. What about talking? Uh, 
let's talk below. I have others I want to show you. Or something. It's uh, yeah. Some of this is changing. Oh, Christ. Um, I just, uh, he has like a long neck. Just like a thin line for a neck. Some of the scare factor this is gone just because we have to spend our time uh, translating. One of, them keeps whispering a, one of them keeps whispering about a bird cage. Hmm. Yeah, that's the, the best part. Uh, okay. I see you. See you at the end. Oh, the baby is back! Fantastic. Yeah, we love the baby. We love the you baby. Hold your breath and continue down, or hold your breath and count to ten. Oh, the stairs are getting bloodier. It's approaching. All right. Oh my god. The fuck is that? Oh. Ah! When you regain consciousness, you're further down the staircase. Oh my fucking god. I love that it started you way more than it did me. <laughs> was it fucking... I was I emotionally saw... prepared for that. You were not. I saw something coming, but I was like, what is that? <laughs> you make a note next to your head. Difficult to read, but you can make out a sentence. Oh, fuck it. You go Don't get, get up a for Saturday. 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 Oh my god. Saturday note with you. You found all of the hidden notes. The sound of the sound of the old timey music has started. Oh my God, you know, strange strange down, here. down here. I don't want. I want to. I'm fuck, man. The pressure is intense. You feel like you're trapped under miles of ocean. Continue downwards. You finally hit salt ground in the basement. This is how you react to this. I I I would be so interested to see how you respond in this other game I play that has actual jump scares in it. This ever visual cool. novel. Looking cool, Joker. What's up, heartbeat role plays? Thank you for the follow. Glad you enjoyed oh. the stream, my dude. Oh. I don't think this would feel right. This is gonna come. Yeah, we're gonna face it when he reaches there with four directions. You can barely think out the outlines of each door for having each direction. Which way should you go? That's a good question. I will go all of the above. So, I wanted to try south, but it was locked last time. East, I believe, is where the kids are. West, I'm not sure. North, it was locked for the kids. Try north. Oh, it's our supplies. Oh. A couple dark. There's a couple spots that are darker noticeably. Yeah, Namely the floor all... creek because there's a child in there. Yeah, there's. Uh, there's and also there's the a wall. wall. Yeah, there's. Which I think is also a person. There's a hook. Man, I hate this. There, oh, yeah, I guess that is a kid, too. I can see the eye holes now that you mentioned it. Sapphire is non emergency food. Disgusting. Uh -huh. Head back to the crossroads. It's out. Locked. So we'll never know what's in that room. Very west. Locked. We have to go east. Hands run across the large door. This is where the kids died. Why is children still haunt you? So west would have been locked either way, probably. Selena. It's just... Cabbage. I just said Selena. It said Selena, which is okay. cabbage name. Rolex. Oh, it's a woman's voice. Yeah, and to sing the names. Rolex. Onion. Okay. We tried to go up or down. We tried all the directions now. Rhino. Okay. At least we know we pronounced them right. Chompets. Come out. Come out. 
no answer. No answer. Maybe now isn't the time for this. You walk back to the basement steps, trying to remember why you wandered this far. Found you. Let's end this. Oh, we just skipped the fight entirely. I don't remember watching Brutality. a stab. I don't actually remember <laughs> watching a stabber that much. Yeah? Escapes down the hallway, leaving a trail of blood behind her. You follow her to the room in the east. Bullshit, I tried that door. Nightmare hey. Carry. Turn on the light. But no. Mariah. Mariah, Mariah, Mariah Carey. Carey. Greg. Gregor. Care. I'll never forget you. Wait a minute. Finish nightmare mode. Wait, what? Yeah, I just got the achievement. Finish nightmare mode. Time is so much fun and Wait. Nothing bad could happen. Everything is totally great, but please do refrain from going in the basement. <laughs> Don't go in the basement. <laughs> Your life just might end. Cooking companions. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Don't trust onion. Now I want to go back and see what happens if I talk to onion. <laughs> Go in the basement. Your life just might end. <laughs> Cooking companions. <laughs> Don't trust that onion. Cooking time. It's very so interesting to tell you specifically do not trust the onion. Out of all, because they could have put any ingredient there, but they specifically mentioned something that's a chomp at. Is there something about the onion in particular? Because mm. onion seemed like, even the human version of onion, seemed like a completely unordinary thing. It, it didn't really seem like something that stood out. I just makes me wonder if there's something that we've missed. This is our third time seeing the credits. Junji Ito got a special thanks. Every Twitch and YouTube streamer. And you. Don't trust that onion shot. Interesting. That's way too specific. Oh. Happening. I don't know. I feel like every time we get an ending, something weird happens. Then it leads to another ending. We have not gone back to the main title screen in like forever, dude. Hello. Welcome to Chompette's Cabin Courses. Dude. So, this is a different game mode. So, we actually skipped to the end of Nightmare Mode, interestingly enough. I mean, fuck it, dude. I mean, they, they allowed us to just kind of skip the rest of Nightmare Mode. We miss Skultz. I don't trust you. The theme song said not to. <laughs> the theme song said to specifically not trust you. We miss Skull too much, so we wanted to bring it back. Honest. I don't think you're being I'll honest. be playing the role of teacher today. 
You can call me Miss Cabbage if you like. Let's just roll with it already. <laughs> Can't wait to learn some new things today. Me too. Aren't you excited, Potato? I don't want to be here. I dropped out of grade school so I can work at the butcher. That's extremely depressing! Explains everything so far. Is he quiet because he wants to sound hold back? I will fucking kill all of you. You three are terrible at whispering. That's why I killed you. <laughs> that is why I killed your sorry asses. They never learn their inside voices, potato. <laughs> Cabbage looks at you right in the eyes. But yeah, I think Potato is a murderer because he's separate from the four of them. I th yeah, and they, um, and he doesn't like them. Yeah, and she's specific. Uh, Raspberry specific said, "I will never forgive you pota to Potato." Oh, maybe Potato's the guy. I think Potato was the killer who killed them, and then. Potato got killed, and then the Baba Yaga spear passed on to someone else. Yeah. That that was the theory that a lot of people were peddling. So. Fair enough. There's no dumb questions or wrong answers today. But if you ask... Chompette's cabin courses are designed to let you passively learn. Yeah. Your brain is forged right now, right? These courses will be perfect for that. Cabin. That's correct, Onion. And the best part... Cabbage. No silly humans to interrupt anything. You ask about dead humans. <laughs> Ghosts aren't real silly. You ask about... That's enough. Cabbage. No questions about ghosts today. Save it for a practicing medium stinky. What? Got a cornbread classic for you. What's a ghost favorite food? <laughs> oh, berry. That's a cereal. You need to get Brad a joke book. These puns are pathetic. That's the wrong voice, but I will. <laughs> Let the learning begin! You decide to listen to the jump out. Although you have the feeling something else is at play. Cabbage. For the first lesson, let's talk about that nasty oven. One of us was baked into a crust. You threw half of it away without hesitation. Human life is completely disposable to you. That's enough. I seem to have lost my place in the teaching curriculum. Cabbage. Let's talk about the cauldron instead. The first cauldron discovered dates back to the Bronze Age, which took place 3,100 3, BC to 300 BC. You can see a cauldron in the famous artwork, The Garden of Earthly Delights, where a bird man is wearing one like a crown as he eats and poops people down into a hellhole below. Wait, what? Is this like, oh, yeah, Yikes! Yikes. Nice Wouldn't want to fall into a hellhole. This was a short line. Most of us were placed in this culture it's doing for a day straight. The smell was so foul. Long to all linens in the cabin absolutely sink. Cabbage? Raspberry? Need to speak with you for a minute in private. <sighs> you awkwardly leave for the bedroom, slamming the door behind them. You can hear Cabbage chewing out Raspberry. Uh. What about another name? What is another name for Brussels sprouts? <laughs> Cabbage Patch Kids! Hmm. Bread, that wasn't even a pun. Or a joke. It was more like a stalling. Cabbage and Raspberry joined the group again. <laughs> Raspberry has a black eye. Cabbage. Raspberry, is there something you'd like to say? There is cabbage. You've committed crimes against humanity. You're a scourge on the surf sent to punish us. Cabbage may forgive you, but I never will. 
Wow, look at the time! <laughs> this Got concludes it. the Chapman's Common Courses! Did you learn anything this time? Or did you just loaf around? <laughs> Are you remembering it yet? Just join me in the boiling water sometime! It really loosens the meat off those old bones. Right into that nasty oven! There's nothing but a big pile of ashes in the oven. Have you seen that knife? Yikes. Big enough to cleave cabbage in two. Still leftovers in here. He is. The rules are different for people that die in the cabin. Everyone that does will know the kitchen well. The lucky ones are dead when cooked. The others... The others have told us what you did to them. How many generations died brutally at your hands before you gave up? Was it your arthritis that stopped you, or did you even- did you eventually feel remorse? Oh. That's kind- we stopped because of the arthritis, I guess? Maybe? We can't use our hand. Yeah. We managed to kill Kar Karen, but we didn't- didn't really have an election option. That's enough! Thanks for playing along today. It was fun to- Revisit some old topics. Let's sleep on some of this, shall we? We've made your bed. <laughs> Sweet dreams. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> it's, it's, there's another freaking thing that pops up after we finish this one, though. <laughs> if another thing pops up after... Oh, hey, the, um... That's again. Oh, no, wait, that's wrong. It was by... I was confused because it said dream. It said dream dear studios by bread. Jared Crest, Jared Crest, Jared Crest, Christ. Audio alchemist. Mm. Boss background. Yeah, for the. Hmm. <laughs> what do you think? Can we get more? We get even more stuff after this than ever. I I I can't. <laughs> I'd rather die. Let me get some water. See if we get anything else after this. I should probably drink some water. Um. So if this sends us back to the menu, I'm gonna go look at the endings to the DLC. Yeah. If this doesn't, I'm going to scream. <laughs> I'm going to scream my heart out. Hmm. Winks. I skipped this? Okay, I can. <laughs> oh, my God. Please just take us back to the fucking title screen. For the love of God. Welcome to New Game Plus, no! man! Oh, wait. 
Oh wait, oops. Uh, that one, that. There we go. There we go. Fortunately for you, you will not be able to max. Sorry. Thank you for playing Cookie Pan. We hope you enjoy the experience. Oh, oh, I forgot. Jump scare mode act. Fuck you. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Do you okay. feel someone approaching? Wake up. Oh. I said, wake up. I don't want to. I can't keep pretending anymore. Always marry. How could I be? I was the last to die. You try to reply, but instead of have a coughing fit. Cough harder. I can see your jugular vein pumping. Pick your last words carefully. <laughs> you will pick. This is where we die. I don't find fruit intimidating. Hey Dean, how's it going? Fire in the hole, fire in the hole, fire in the hole. What the fuck? I'm going to ruin that other eye of this. Don't look away. You're not scared of me? You shake your head. Fine. Goodbye, wretch. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> it just keeps going. Oh, 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 oh. You know what? Hold on. I want to. I want to know. What if I look away? You already did. Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, hey, we're done. <laughs> yeah! We can stop, right? I'm sorry, Raina. Yeah? I don't believe you. Prove it by getting rid of Potato. Do that, we're even. Getting rid of Potato might be a fatal decision. Oh. <laughs> this is different, so I, I'm interested. Raina has bluffed before. Well, is Potato leaving the cabin? Yes. Fantastic. Follow through this commitment to be social with others. Don't slide back into old habits. I'm being told what to do by a fruit! Rest in peace, Mariah. Karen. Anatoly. Gregor. I'll keep us alive. I promise. It was the steam. The, it was the steam uh, achievement. Everyone watches oh. as Mariah leaves the cabin. I don't even get to stop her this time. No, as people said, you won't get to max up Mariah, then oh, sorry. Cause the ah, because we're at the point where she kills herself. Silence is death. Ever three go to bed, you finally have Why do we always come back here? Always in the bathroom. A candle blew out. You grasp blindly along the floor until you find a flashlight in the corner. Hey Mariah! Yeah, yeah I know, me too. Wait, what? This bathtub is filthy. Oh. Need more, a little more open. Hmm. There's a note underneath the bathtub. Those serves as some as a Zakopane courthouse. You're being killed crimes. So wait, I, we got this before, didn't we? Or I did don't we? know, man. I don't it's time just overlapping. I don't even know anymore. I don't. I don't. Man, you take the court summon letter with you. Boop. Boop, boop. 
Can I use the toilet? No. No. I have to look at... We're out of toilets. We're out of toilet paper. Beyond disturbing. This is truly the scariest thing you've ever seen. True. If you're interested in waning, you decide to leave the bathroom. Oh, we were... Oh, cool. This was a trick. I'm surprised the others. Take out a cutlet of meat and begin to cook it in the oven. Wait, what? You cooked the meat. Why is the meat getting closer? <laughs> I am... It's Count Touchella in disguise. Hey. Where did you get that? You ignore Karen's question. What's that smell? Oh my god, we're just doing the same thing again! Karen finally gets off the couch. Look at you. The three are looking at you. Sell the You take the charred meat out of the oven and cut into small. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna try to see if we get the Karen ending. I don't know, man. I, I don't get paid enough for this, man. They immediately grab some off the plate, oh. chewing ferociously. Any more of this meat? Any more of this meat? Point how the meat is stored securely, hidden so you can ration better this time. Okay. Thank you. And until he runs to the bathroom, puking in the toilet. So yeah, this is the same. This taste is... You know, this is my favorite thing. So, you remember what? Bloodborne Kart? What? Uh, someone was making a kart racer for Bloodborne. And they got very far into it. And then they had to delete it because, you know... But they just Not renamed right. it. I find that hilarious. <laughs> No, it's just called Nightmare. Let's just summon the meat. Don't fight the Santa Tully. Boop, boop. Tully takes the cutlet from the plate, turning his back to the he devours it. I don't get paid enough for this. I hear him crying. Finally, my focus is coming back. I'm gonna read some of those books. Keep them occupied, okay? Here leaves you with the men. Who do you want to talk to? Um. Speak with Santa Tully. Uh, because Anatoly is dying soon, so we need to talk to him first, right? Yes, we need to talk to him. So we could try to ma should we try to max everyone out, or should we just talk to Karen? I I don't know, man. Anatoly. Thanks for checking in on me. You ask if he still feels sick. Not anymore. And I think it was a mental thing. Please don't tell me where the meat came from. The less known, the better. Thank you. You're sure, I totally sure. remember that. You leave Anatoly and go tidy up some parts of the kitchen. There's a face down there, isn't there? Or... Yes, there's a face. There's a pass. The mail gave everyone the perseverance to keep going. There's something down there. Portuguese child, is that you? <laughs> I remember your Hunger is now permanent within them. Portuguese child! He's Portuguese gone. child! How do I escape this endless nightmare? <laughs> He's gone. He's gone down. No! He's not gonna help us. No! <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just want to die! We've laid long enough. What's for dinner? You can only explain that you want to ration the meat better this time. There will be no dinner. Fine. I understand. I guess I'd rather eat tomorrow than more today. No arguments. Perfect. What does call her in early night? Fall asleep instantly. Everything's be on fire, glowing eerily in the early morning light. 
Finn horseback is staring at you from the other side, blowing his nose into a handkerchief. Rickety bridge is the only way to reach him. You decide to start crossing it. The bridge immediately sinks with your weight, causing the rotting wood of the post to crack. Finn pushes the bridge to the side, the frayed ropes creak in fresh gust. Reach the center, the man horseback smiles at you, raising the hand with a handkerchief. He brings it down in a violent motion, causing the bridge to disappear beneath your feet. Fall into the river flame, you can see the man on horseback galloping away. You wake in a cold sweat. Oh, we don't even get an image. Rest in spaghetti, never forgetty. Put on the drip. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we do that, we do that. Okay, there we go. Wake up to see Gregor looking out the window. Turns to you, not smiling. Oh, do we get to see Mariah again? Take a look out the window. Do you notice anything? Maria! Mariah! Are you there? Yeah, she's there. There she goes. Do we... Oh, we really have to do this. I mean, we don't have to. Just I could probably skip part of this. Come on. We could, technically. Uh, options. Can we just... <laughs> skip mode. Trans... This. Good morning, big guy. I think we should have another piece of beef for breakfast. No. What she would have wanted. I'm vegetarian. Okay, yeah, the skip shows stuff that's gets unread. Actually, wait. But I'm in auto mode? How's that, how'd that work? I don't understand. Bring us more of that meat. Grab some meat from the secret high place. Go ahead and square his to the boiling cauldron water. I see. Taste the plant by his Mmm, mmm. What's taking so long? Pull it faster! I don't understand. She's almost done. Patience. Patience, bitch. Let me finish. Serve the meat in bowls. Shut up, you. <sighs> Gregor drinks some broth first before swallowing the chunks whole. Yeah, we've... Man, this is how you bore me. Yeah, I'm gonna skip some of the text. We've done all this! Yeah. How much more meat is left? Blah, 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 blah. Look, I'm just gonna skip till we get to unique content. Everyone shovels off their rooms. Go to bed, ravenous. Mariah, I think he's approaching. Potato, time to wake up. That's potato where the chomp bats are. Raspberry. I think they they've moved on just us now. Wait, what? This is oh. new. Shit. This is new. Fuck! I was about to get up and strut. The way it always should have been. So we told, uh, we told. Raspberry, we'd get rid yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. But she's gone now. Yeah, but it was a really deep fried face, wasn't it, Dean? Why the final man just forget everything that happened? Oh, fall asleep again. Oh, wait. I'll call them up a second, but it's something. Are you playing Miles Morales? I don't know, when I feel like buying it. <laughs> When I feel like not being racist. <laughs> kidding, kidding. I'm a strange dream. Walking down the steps when you trip and fall. Snap every bone on the way down, landing in the basement. There's a rabbit pile of flesh and bones. Whispers surround you, their laughter ringing in your ears. You wake in the cold sweats. It smells terrible in the living room. Until I puked them on the corners. We have theirs to the others with questionless fortitude. Good morning. Morning, little guy. Wait until I was your decision. I was up last night. Whispers came from the holes in the floor. 
kept telling me to come outside. So that's the best smell was. And it's always playing dumb for the group. This new? You have one hour to make a decision. No, I don't think it is. Son of a bitch. I'm not waiting any longer. They glint at Karen's knife under her dress. Best watch out best, for that knife. Best watch out for that knife. Group disperses. Tension seems uh, to be rising. One hour to kill. Uh, I rush to Karen in the bedroom. I don't know. We each have a fan totally, but I would get us up max with him. I I want to get the Karen ending though. It's more interesting. Hi. Keep this between us. Are you running reader or? Oh, I'm not giving in totally a choice today. <laughs> I lied. Slay Queen. Well, what's this clip? Can you play? What? Playing Miles Morales? I don't know. I said I like buying it. <laughs> oh, in a second. But I feel like not being racist. <laughs> What? What nothing, you... nothing, nothing, nothing. It's just a clip. That was... Let me look. It's a joke, no clip. Let me look. It's the thing where I'm like, when I decide to not be racist. <laughs> I give an answer choice today. Going outside. Do I make myself clear? Anatoly is an adult who can make his own decisions. True. <laughs> yes. Good. Thank you for understanding. Karen cracked a smile. It's like Karen will remember that. Remember that. This ship is stronger. Fantastic. I get everyone together for a meeting. Let's get them to leave. Let everyone together to discuss the next steps. Get Potato the fuck out of here. You okay, little guy? Until he looks pale, like he's going to pass out. I wonder if we were actually just supposed to max out everyone. What? Maybe we were just supposed to max out everyone. I don't even know if we can get the Karen ending. Oh well. Have you made your decision? We'll see. We can go back anyways. Yes. Help you all out. I'm going. Thank you, Antolio. Alright, see you, illiterate bastard. It's for the best. I'm not giving him a choice. Dude. Later, fish eyes. See you later, bozo. Don't say anything. You say nothing? <laughs> you fuck, damn. Because last time- wait, last time, uh, I think it was Raspberry tells us do not let him go. Or something like that. Yeah, and then we didn't. Because we literally could not. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Good luck, little guy. And Dolly has left the cabin. You have failed. See you, See you soon, little, little guy. guy. God, I don't care anymore. And Dolly has left the cabin. Wait, we've already had that. Why is it giving me the achievement again? I, I don't know. I have some of the truth. I didn't tell. This is gonna be right. Hold on, I'm checking something. I mean, you're still my next Minecraft playthrough. I don't know. How long till I do next Minecraft playthrough? I don't know. Good question. Shut your eyes, ah. quit falling asleep. Here's scraped from the floor. Ah, I see. This game Probably doesn't have. This Red game doesn't have hidden achievements. Red-haired woman won't let him live, will she? Ravenous at this point. She assumes the stronger she gets. What cost? Eh. Sometimes so, staying silent works better. Just walk away and pretend you're innocent later. What a terrible protective potato has provided. Chompets would never have listened to this crap. You fall asleep thinking about what potato told you. You have a you strange, strange dream. dream. It's lying on the table in front of you. Chair with the glasses for partially cracked and set them down to the wire track. Freaking saw you wrapped the cuts in an old newspaper. 
Then we get soggy immediately as we begin. Trying to cut towel before wrapping. Much better. Bunch of fists get ready to strike whatever's coming for you. Wake in a cold sweat. Fuck! I kind of miss the uh, little things where they'd be a jump scare at the end of the dreams. Yeah, those were cool. Yeah, they, they were. Have nothing! Average Minecraft oh, phase is two weeks every five months. What? <laughs> Wait, what? The average Minecraft phase is every. Yeah, like, that's how it works. We're making a completely different place. I used all my Minecraft phases, like, while I was still in high school. <laughs> it's like it's like a card game at this point. I entered my Minecraft phase! Yeah, I, I used and... all of my resources for my Minecraft phase uh, when I was in high school, so... I used it then found some Everybody's still asleep. This would be a nice surprise after yesterday's events. Cutting each slice what does that smell? That smell. Give it to me Give now. It to me. No. You don't argue. You have sex with it. You fuck her in the mouth. I don't know. Jungle bit devours it, barely chewing. Grabs another color off the plate and eats it. I thought she was going to serve a fresh. Trigger wakes up from the couch and has the kitchen. Something. Oh, God. Rogue's conflicted. He scums the hunger. Gonna skip. Yeah. I'm gonna lie down on the couch. Try to keep this food down. Here leads into whisper. I'm glad Mariah and Anna's holy are gone. They were stopping us from bonding properly. How'd she get so good at it? Actually, why makes me feel whole again? Even with the nightmares, it's worth it. Can I flop back? No, all I can think about. I read the book on necropathy. Excellent, but the diagrams are really beautifully drawn. Very descriptive. How many years did it take you to perfect the craft? Tougher. You've grown on me. Karen pauses deep in thought. You know Gregor can't swim, right? He'd be next to leave, but he doesn't stand a chance. Why wait for him to come back? I think you know what needs to be done. A strong anesthetic. I want you to slip this into Gregor's mug tonight. This is for the best. You won't feel any pain until he wakes up. This is beyond extreme. Will you do this for me? Yes. Yes. I think you would. Thank you. You know, I'm chilling perfectly. It looks like you remember that. We did it! <laughs> Karen and Ning. <laughs> we have sex! This is the I'm really desperate for a relationship, so I'll do this anything is, ending. <laughs> this is the stick your dick in crazy ending. Yes. Stick your dick Gregor? in crazy. Gregor? It's been a while since you've had some water. Come drink! <laughs> uh, Gregor looks frightened. He looks frightened. Can't stop thinking. I can't stop thinking about the little guy. Can't remember what happened before we arrived. It just never ends. This Antolia and Maria, Maria. This just to Antoli and Maria. You'll always be inside of us, Gregor. <laughs> Literally. And bread smiles from the void. Can't change that now. Gregor begins to weep. And Gregor uh, wept. Uh, right. We're having it raw tonight, Gregor. Oh. What? Pardon? <laughs> Sex? Eating raw meat is one of life's greatest gambles. Getting awfully sick or... The meat is more in the smell. He swallows each bite with a wince on his face. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh. A. 
Trying not to get sick. I'll never forget the first time I met Ed Tooley. We were kidding. I was killing fireworks in the house. Ed Tooley brought over a butterfly that filled with a SpongeBob. He introduced himself to ask me, You want to hold one of the butterflies? I crushed it beneath my pecs. I had never held one before. He told me not to crush it between my large paws. <laughs> He did have miniature hands himself, so I get it. And to and okay, what did you put in this water? Why did you do anything to save your friends, Gregor? Of course. Gregor's what eyes start to droop. What the hell was Karine's liquid? Come. I mean what? Freshly made. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's best to have an early bedtime tonight. Let me help you onto the crowd. The crouch. Help oh. you onto the crouch. The crouch. This is a combination of the, the crotch couch. <laughs> it's made of ball sack material. Skin. It's made of skin. Oh, God. Welcome to my crouch. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Kirby. Gregor <laughs> passes out cold. Thank you. I'll do the rest. Even if he screams, please ignore Gregor when he wakes up. Okay. You don't want to interrupt with this. <laughs> oh. You leave her alone, going into the bedroom, crawling into the bed, and totally slept in. <laughs> you fall asleep almost instantly. Like a baby! Like a baby! <laughs> Wake up, sleepyhead. Me and the bad ant pulled by being completely yeah, mentally bad. insane. <laughs> you see, uh, Ryan in the background, too. Yeah, well, she's always been. I don't think she's left. Gregor is waiting for you. Get out of bed and follow Karen to the couch. Oh, that's new. Yeah, he su he, she sucked him off. Oh, you were like this before. He's trying to speak. <laughs> what is it, Gregor? You told Karen that Gregor has died. He hasn't spoiled yet. Bitch, these are my lines. Let me show you the rest of it. Well, Gregor's dead, so I don't have anyone to voice. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Aaron shuffles, shuffles over to the over basement to the door, basement. opening the lock with a knife. That's a nice knife, bitch. Why wait until she's in the basement? Take back the knife and end her life. I thought this was the thing where we can romance her. You explain how difficult it is to get blood out of wood. Your laziness is unbelievable. The minute those four entered the cabin, you should have killed all of them. You're getting solved. You nursed a weakened butcher back to hell? What if she ends up killing you now? She won't. She loves me too much. I brought you the key. When she goes downstairs, lock the door behind her with that deadbolt. Then let her rot. Tato. Might I have made great I might have made great allies in another life. You need to stop her before it's too late. I think this is the same thing as before. You walk up to the basement door. You can have her. No, I'll let you. I'll let you have a line. Where's Karine? When are you fixing this hall? When I shove my dick through it. You feel her breath come through the crack in the door. She looks like Ronald McDonald. Wait, <laughs> Lock the basement door. What the hell are you doing? Bye, Carrie. 
thought this was the ending where we... Did I do something wrong? Hold on. <laughs> Did I do the Karen ending wrong? I don't know. A oh, second. Sorry about that. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, how do we get the how Karen do I, ending? How do I romance this bitch? That is. Do it. What? Do, doing this wrong. Oh, I think it has to be in the actual main game. It can't be a new game plus. Son of a. Oh wait, what are the new game plus endings? And do the same stuff again. Let's see here, new game plus ending. I guess we have to do this. Okay, so we're getting... Okay, I, I know what ending we're getting then. What ending are we getting? Uh, we're getting one where she turns into a chompette, I believe. I see. And then, I don't know, because we're doing this for two hours, and it doesn't feel like we've made any pro- <laughs> We can watch like, the game theory. How long is the game theory? I don't know. 20 minutes, maybe? Slips into the darkness. I'm on the couch to rest, waiting for the basement minutes. noise to become silent. It's 16 minutes. 16 minutes. Send link. Okay, fine, you fucking have it, you slut. Raya was correct. It's freezing over here. Frigid air swirls visibly in front of you. The noise has completely stopped. What do you want to do? Eat a meal, look under the couch, the book- Wait, this is new. I don't remember doing this before. Under the couch, with a bookshelf. Hmm. Dead to me. What are, is, the, what are the achievements? This is new. Permanent nightmare point taken, graveyard games, the one and only, the room where it happened, metamorphosis, undying rage, and analysis. Oh! The bookshelf. Nothing can. That was any. Thankfully, no spiders. Oh, I guess we can't do anything? Oh, it's toy. How did this get under here? Small wooden boats. That's weird. No ports anywhere near here. There's a name engraved on it. Raza. Maybe Brad would want this. Wait, did we do... I feel like maybe I did do that before. I'd have a quick lunch at the table. We escape? Waking a cold sweat. Pick up sleepyhead. Sleepy head. No, these are... You're having a nightmare. Okay. Maybe this is the Karen ending. <laughs> He's really soaked. Are you wetting the bed? Feel underneath you. Gross. This broke fear because sweat is everywhere. Don't worry, we can wash them in the basement. Just unlock the door and we'll make a day of it. You're not that slow with laundry. Come with me, I have something to show you. Cautiously get up, following Karen out of the bedroom. The basement door was already open. I'm hungry. Let's get something from the basement. Feel the cold presence of Karen behind you. Goodbye. Wait, this is new. Also, phone. Stop. Phone battery dying. Plug it in. Go. Grab on the railing. You do so, feeling a slight push on your back. Feel the presence leave. That was a close one. I'm gonna try everything in our power to kill you. Tread casually downstairs. Why are you helping me, Potato? I don't know. Fuck you, because I pity what you've become. 
Make your way down to the bottom of the stairs. Something is approaching. Mariah, is that you? Plenty of bread down here. I agree with what you did. There's bread down here, those bits. Beware, Karen. You go deeper into the abyss. It would be kind of funny if we accidentally found something secret because of a stealth update they did, though. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. There was a big patch today for some reason right before I started the game. What happened? The patch. Oh, uh, there was dude, a big, big patch. And I don't know it, what was it was a big patch. Yeah, it was weird. It was weird. Man, I just don't. I've lost all interest. Wait, there should have been Anatoly, right? Yeah. I guess I stopped. Did you hear the knock that knocking? Everyone's upstairs wants to leave. Yeah. Okay, this is normal. This is the normal Gregor shit. But it's out of order. Oh, fuck. And then he fucks off and then there were curves of my life doing nothing. Are you frightened, Are you frightened by, her? by her? Yes! She's a scary woman. Don't come upstairs. Please turn like when you reach the room. Well, I've been trying. I want to see the look on your face with them. Right. Oh, Beware, Karen. Something's approaching. Da, 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 da. He's just below us, waiting to bury you. I wonder if it's gonna make us actually fight Karen or not, because last time we used the chomp bats. This time yeah. we can't. Oh maybe we'll, yeah. I don't know. Finally hit the solid ground in the basement. That doesn't feel right. Found you. Found you. Found you. Rather strong than you as of late. Consuming your friends has imbued her with the rage. He's lost in the abyss. And nothing but death can end this madness. I hope you're prepared for that. You can feel something creeping up in front of you. Hello! What? Hello! Cabbage, what are you? Cabbage! Cabbage! Take us forever to move the roll you put in the mouse holes. Come back! Uh -huh. Come out! Oh. Never fear, your onion is here. Run, bitch. Like my cousin Cornbread says, I'll rise to the occasion. Raspberry! Sometimes, Mary, raspberry. What? What lie did you tell them, Potato? That you had moved on? <laughs> Will you let us go? Shake your head. Someday, maybe. Come back? Cabbage! Cabbage! Can't let her take over the cabin. She's much worse than you, Stinky. Do you see what she did to Gregor? Unhinged. 
So wait, okay. So I thought Potato got rid of them because we were trying to get rid of him, but now I don't know. He's a cut above you right now. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need our help with this. Just remember what she's done. You know that anger. She's just like Potato now, right? I'm still here. Cut. Still here. <laughs> And it's punch with Furler. We're locking you in the room again, Potato. No chomp at trial needed. You got company down. You got company down here, Potato. One of us should hide the key. That's enough. No need to twist the knife. <laughs> Good luck. Chompettes? Let's help out. Chompets, Chompets, get, get in position. position behind you, ready for what's next. You feel around with the wall and look at the light switch. Found you. You should drink some water. You're right, I should. Let's end this. Oh. Well, it lets me skip. Oh. As long as you've done the ending once, it doesn't care. Doi, you didn't even show a stabbing. You let the knife drop to the floor, holding in a loving embrace. Wait! This is different! We got the carrot ending! What? Uh, oh, the only thing we're gonna finish is the thing that we shot! It was carried along. Your soulmate is finally found. <laughs> we pulled the patty! We did it! You're left to get devoured hundreds of men, women, and children. Me and the oh, baddie I pull by being completely mentally deranged. Yep! <laughs> all the governments are powerless to stop your- All that oppose you perish. We work together to make the world a terrible place for future generations. One day, Karen becomes ill. She calls you over to her deathbed between gas prayer. Her eyes are filled with terror, but it lessens once she sees you. I... I... She tries to say her name, but can't get it out. I... I love you. You nod, crying softly as she tightly grips her hand in fear. Your tears fall on her dress as the last of Karen's air leaves her lungs. Her hand slowly lets go of yours, dropping to her side. You take the knife and wrap her hands around it, putting it in the middle of her chest. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, I'm I'm done. You don't want to watch the you don't want to watch the the slideshow? No, no, no. I was the game theory. I mean. Oh, uh, no, I'll pass on the. You were a true cooking companion. <laughs> See the secret ending. <laughs> we got it. You don't want to watch the game theory with me? Uh, I'll tell you a story, but you promise not to laugh. I'll watch the game theory. I almost died when I was six. It was probably the coldest winter on record. Okay. My parents and I were snowed in. Of course, they had enough wood. They had her parents. About that random dude. My father. Before the wedding day, he chopped down one of the biggest trees in the forest. He spent months whittling it down. Cutting the pieces carefully. Measuring the armrests so they fit perfectly. Handing it down, not even a splinter could come out. He named it Mother's Chair. Every Saturday, he washed her feet while she sat in it. What? Whistling a tune that his grandmother taught him. Also, oh, feet washing is a uh, religious ceremony, typically. It doesn't have to be, but uh, it is also a religious ceremony. Yeah. But also a fetish. The true. Like most religious ceremonies. Look at weeks of working out on in secret. He was hyperventilating 
fully dismantled it. Each heavy breath was a foggy cloud. His tears were freezing to his cheeks. The fire only lasted two days. And later, the frostbite turned his fingertips completely black. He cried almost as hard over his fingers as he did the chair. After a while, when the food was running out, he began to search every inch of our cabin. But he finally found what he was looking for. The little mouse. Holding it wiggling in his hand was been painful. Between wincing, he divided it in two. One piece for me, and one for my mother. How's that for a big breakfast? This corpse was the first I ever saw that was frozen solid. Thank you for listening. <laughs> oh, she's a turnip. Cabbage. Look, he's trying to speak. <laughs> Don't be shy. Try again. Might take a few more days. Welcome to the Chompiots, Turnip. Oh, this is the new game plus ending as well. Mm -hmm. So, apparently we got managed to get both of them. We managed to get the new game plus ending and the Karen ending all at once. I see. That works out. Oh. Check the Karen Companion. Finish new yeah. game plus. We did it! You unlocked Chompette's Origins from the main. We already story. have it! Oh, the game's fucked. We definitely. Game... I don't think we did everything in order. <laughs> no, we. we I, I don't know anymore, uh, man. Anyways, I don't know. We'll, we'll look to see. I think I'm going to watch the game theory and then look at the other endings for Chompette's Origins. Uh, do you want to stick around for the game theory? I'll stick around for the game theory. I'm just okay, let me. Uh, we're going to watch for. Because there's two theories. I think the one you linked is part one. I don't know, man. <laughs> Let me see here. Let's see here. Let me, let me make sure. Yeah, this is from, uh, this is for the first one. Uh, Good Game Panions, a DLC. Here we are, here we are. Found it, found it. Uh, all right. Getting everything set up here. Give me just a moment. I'm back. I've been. There we go. Um. Green. Let's see here. Deeper. I'll get the. Let me swap the stream here. Your screen. And where's my Google? Google. There we go. You watching? Or do you, do you say you'd be right back? <laughs> I was paying attention. Too busy trying to get started. I'm back. I I'm a little too loud. Ugh. You ready for this? I'm 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 like gonna be passively listening. <laughs> passively gonna be listening. All right. I've been yeah. looking for you. It's been about four months since your last theory. Are you losing track of Stephanie? time again? How have things been? I can't hear. Why am I here? Ask me that. Can't hear it? It's supposed to be able to let you hear because it's playing on Google. Mm. Hold on. Let's see here. I don't know. Uh. You know exactly know here. what happened. Wait, I, is it... You know. Nah, I can't exactly. hear shit. Huh? Well, frick. Oh, I'm fine with this. I can't. <laughs> we'll just have to watch it at the same time. I guess. I. Nah, just put on right. subtitles for me. Put on subtitles. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. True. That is true. I'm back. I've been looking for you. It's been about four months since your last theory. Are you losing track of time again? How have things been? Why would you ask me that? Why are you we know here? Exactly what Why happened. Am I here. I didn't ask. You for this. know exactly what happened. Let me remind you. <laughs> Game theory. 
Hello, Internet. Welcome Graphic to Graphic did a good job with that, I'll be honest. Now with 50% less cannibalism, but the same dead kid flavor you've come to love. And welcome back to Cooking Companions, everyone's favorite visual novel about eating your camping buddies, then turning them into kawaii foodstuffs. In case you missed our previous theories on the game, the original Cooking Companions told the story of an unnamed protagonist living out in the woods and the four hikers that unfortunately join you in search of shelter. Shortly into their stay, the food runs out, and you, as the chef, are forced to find some alternative sources of meat for let's go gregor <laughs> wait she left one arm <laughs> you did everyone one by one each member of the group is consumed by their hunger their guilty conscience and eventually just that, consumed by, just I know. by you mm -mm, meat thanks to clues in the game we were able to figure out that the player character is actually the baba yaga an old hag from slavic folklore that wouldn't you know eats people that happen to get lost in the woods near her cabin but that solution only gave us half the story you see though we might be an old cannibalistic hag living out alone in the woods we aren't yeah. truly alone throughout the tale our characters <laughs> visited by five adorable grocery store rejects, the Chompettes. You've got Cabbage, the leader of the group who loves to play games, Onion, the comedian who thinks they're way funnier than they actually are, the pun-filled bread, the cute but threatening raspberry, and Potato, just Potato, a character who immediately stands out from the group as the tuber who refuses to play along and just insists on getting his knife back. Clearly one of these things is not like the others. Well, all the other Chompettes I am a murderer, <laughs> and you are my victims are playful and generally really cheery, is Potato now. is despondent, yeah. angry. He's just William right. Afton. And that's because he's especially important to our character's origin story. Exploring hidden notes found throughout the game, we were able to piece together oh that Potato, God, before just, he became oh a root vegetable... God, I hate everything. When you boil him down, FNAF. when you boil him down, it's just FNAF. It's FNAF. Everything's FNAF. Yeah, yeah was actually a serial killer known as the Butcher of Zakopane, a man that we suspected was possessed by the Baba Yaga years before we were. The story we crafted went as follows. We were originally part of a group of five kids taken in by the Butcher, victims waiting for the slaughter. Except something unexpected happened. The Butcher was lonely. He wanted a protege. And when we arrived at the forest cabin, he singled us out to learn his ways. There was only one problem. We were still loyal to our friends. When it came time for our friends to be sacrificed down in the basement, we struck first, killing the butcher and saving the group except it came with one problem something that we could have never predicted in killing the butcher we ourselves got possessed by the baba yaga under her influence we then but there wasn't a fifth person in the cabin and uh compass origin turn on our friends and thus the this is just a recap born. of what our he four friends and the one starchy killer who just wants his knife back and that was the story or should i say that was the story as best as we could piece together but now everything's different enter the game's new dlc chompette origins a prequel story to the events of the original game you know what that means it's suddenly my hour of wreck i just love how she just does not give us a single crap it looks like i don't give a fuck she just really does it, but she's also the most angsty of all of the chompettes. One of the few times on this channel that we either get to confirm or deny a past theory, which means that it's time to see just how wrong we were. So, will I be getting the sweet taste of victory? You know what makes me so sad? If I ever make a hit video game, I'll no longer have MatPat to make a theory about it. <laughs> or just a big old slice of humble pie. It's time to explore that familiar old cabin one final time to see what mysteries Dear Dream Studios has cooked up. The prequel story starts with three children standing in front of our familiar cabin in the woods. There's Selena, Oleg, and Bolek. If it wasn't clear from the first letters of their names or the color of their outfits, Dear Dream Studios was also kind enough to color their names to be the same as our Chompette pals. Selena is cabbage, Oleg is onion, and Bolek is bread. I don't know if you can tell it, but uh, they really wanted to make sure we knew who was who. This time, we're not playing the role of the killer or Baba Yaga or anything like that, but rather we're the fourth child, Rhina, the child who would go on to become Raspberry. We're told that we're running away from someone, escaping into this empty cabin to hide. Eventually, the man that we're running from finds his way into the cabin. The four hide down in the basement, but it's too late. A knife-wielding killer stands before us, ready to make the final blow, but suddenly, the kids' faces turn to horror as slashing sounds are heard and the killer's eyes close. The last thing that we see are children running for their lives, except for Rhina, who's surprisingly calm about the entire situation. So, what's it all mean? How did the details of this DLC act- Oh wait, we didn't get this ending, does this mean we messed up? <laughs> did we mess up? Dapper? I think Dapper's gone. 
actually fit inside of our original set of theories. Well, in true theory fashion, we got a lot of stuff right, and also a couple things wrong. First and most importantly, this is definitely the Baba Yaga's cabin. As he searched the premises, Bolek mentions finding a fence that's covered in bones, which is one common trait of the Baba Yaga's cabin in Slavic folklore. Oh, nice. We also get an extra dream in New Game Plus that tells Good us Lord. the story of us dying in a river of fire controlled by a man with a handkerchief. This seemingly uh, random story that. is another famous tale coming out of the Baba Yaga canon called The Death of Koshai the Deathless. In fact, I suspect that we might even be able to catch a glimpse of the Baba Yaga in the DLC, but it is buried real well. When the kids first descend into the basement of the cabin, we discover a literal murder chamber hidden inside the darkness. But you know what we do when there's a dark scene? You whip it out! And by it, I mean Photoshop. Cranking up the exposure. Oh no. <laughs> Matt Pat. No! 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 gives you this. Not only a clear scene of the various cages and hostage pit in the middle of the room, I also something ripped the face straight there. out of Silence of the Lambs. But in a when-you-see-it-you'll-poop-bricks moment, if you look back here, yep, that is a human face staring right back at you, watching the kids and their killer from the shadows, waiting for the moment to strike them all down. That, I suspect, is the Baba Yaga, notably missing its left eye, which is a reference to yet another Baba Yaga story where their left eye is shot out during a battle. Could uh. it potentially be the spirit of a past victim? Sure, weird faces appear from the shadows when you least expect them all the time in this game. But the missing eye and the placement right next to where everyone's about to get slaughtered, my money is on the Yaga. That said, while we basically nailed it on that half of the story, we were a bit off when it came to Potato. Turns out, he doesn't live in this cabin like we first suspected. He's also not possessed by the Baba Yaga. He just wishes he were. After our four friends in the Butcher wind up dead at the end of the DLC's first playthrough, we think to ourselves that, quote, keeping these intruders around might be entertaining entertaining for now. Potato is considered to be a part of that group. One in a group of intruders sticking their noses into a place where they're not welcome. The cabin. He was not, nor was he ever, the Baba Yaga. All my hypothesizing about the Baba Yaga changing bodies? Yep, not a real thing. The Baba Yaga- Wait, we see that same face in many spots though, not just that. Even during the main game playthrough, uh, this face hidden here, we see a face like this so many times throughout the playthrough hidden in various spots. I don't know. On the Yaga. That said, while we basically nailed it on that half of the story, we were a um, bit off no, I'm not sure. notes that can only be accessed by interacting with an object over and over and over and over and over again until all the dialogue options are completely exhausted. By clicking on the cauldron in the kitchen, we find this note. Hi, I saw this one. Vince outside. Kids are needed? Please teach me the secret. I'll bring them here on Sunday. You won't have to do anything. Please teach me the secret. As you can see, the spelling in these notes is, um, challenging. But that's actually a huge clue for us. After reading the note, Selena, the soon-to-be cabbage, comments the following. Did a kid write this? Either it was a kid or an adult who didn't do very well in school. That language is important because when playing through the main game, we're given hints that one of the chompettes did <laughs> indeed drop out of school in order to work at the butchers. It's potato. These letters are all... I wonder if he's going to talk about the Noon Game Plus uh, ending song where it talks about onion coming from him. Potato apparently knew about the Baba Yaga that was living That's out in the cabin strange. and wrote to them in the hopes that the killer would say yes to doing a collab. Now, this is an important factoid because last time we thought we were Potato's pupil, but it turns out to be the exact opposite. Potato actually wanted to be our student. If you pick Bolek's route and check the walls enough times, you'll find another note that says Hi, stop pretending like you aren't home. I was good. I did a good job. Please, tell me what I'm doing wrong. Teach me the secret. Clearly, Potato went around town killing people in an effort to boost his resume, trying to get himself an acceptance letter from the Baba Yaga School for Serial Killers. But even though we were wrong about him being the Baba Yaga, we were right about him being the Butcher of Zakopane. Uh. Selena the Cabbage actually recounts the story of them finding a body oh, stuffed shit. into a potato barrel, with the killer running away as soon as they spot him. It's the same killer that then attacks the cabin, the Butcher. So now that we have ourselves access to all the information, here's how the story really went. A group of four kids try to escape from a serial killer, the Butcher of Zakopane, by hiding down in the basement of a seemingly abandoned cabin in the woods. When the butcher finds them and prepares his attack, the Baba Yaga returns home and slaughters them all for intruding, transforming the group into Potato and the rest of the Chompettes. Oh yeah, we also get to see Potato at the very end of the game. In one of the game's many secret Easter eggs, we get this jump scare. 
Our title screen is then sliced up into tiny little cubes. This, my friends, is the face of the butcher. We know this thanks to his height relative to the kids, as well as one additional key detail, the knife he's holding. The knife that, as Potato, he would be so salty not to have. Straightening all this out now allows us to try and actually solve the biggest mystery of the entire game, the disappearance of Raziel, aka Cornbread. This elusive sixth chompette is basically like the golden Freddy of the franchise. Everyone keeps talking about him, there are hints to him everywhere, and clearly he's important to the story, but the only time we ever catch a glimpse of him is if we manage to unlock one of the hardest secret endings in the game. Raziel was a bit of an enigma during our previous theories, mainly because we had so little hmm. information to work off of. We're told that he's Oleg the Onion's relative, despite the fact that Bread calls him Cousin Cornbread. We know that he's been in the cabin before because of his tiny boat under the couch, and we know that eventually we eat him. The Baba Yaga consumes his flesh. Not really a whole lot to go off of, so last time I pitched my own idea. That Raziel came later, after the original Chompettes had all been killed. However, the new DLC proves otherwise. See, Raziel's already missing at the start of the story. I was the first. I have seen of course. Of course we have to put in FNAF reference. Gosh I dang it, Matt Pat. I'm, that's it, I'm leaving. You're leaving. <laughs> I mean, are we done? No, no. There's like a six yeah, minutes left. basically that. In this prequel DLC, the kids decide to try solving the murders that are happening throughout Zakopane. In order to do that, Oleg needs to get some tips from his grandma. And the way he gets her to open up is by saying that he's going to use the information to help find the missing Raziel. And when they do eventually find their way to that forest cabin, they can find the same toy boat with Raziel's name carved into it hiding under the couch. He's been here. He's been gone for quite some time. So what happened to this kid? What brought him here in the first place? Death. Well, when Potato corners the kids down in the basement, yeah. he says this before finishing them off. Say hi to Raziel for me. He knows who Raziel is, but why? Well, I suspect that Raziel's the kid that Potato refers to in his original letter to the Baba Yaga. I saw the fence outside. Kids are needed. I'll bring him here on Sunday. The him in this case is Raziel. Potato brought him here to the Baba Yaga in order to prove his worth and hopefully learn the Baba Yaga's secret. Which does leave us with one final question. The what secret is, is the secret that's so worth killing for? It keeps getting brought up. Potato writes to the Baba Yaga about it not just once, but twice. He wants to know it so badly that he's willing to sacrifice kids to get some answers. And yet, the game still leaves it ambiguous. That said, I- It's remnants. I think that I figured out what the secret is. There's one thing that the Baba Yaga is well known for throughout Slavic folklore, something that's often described as her big secret. That's the ability to become young again, living forever. And going back to the main game, we can actually confirm that this is the Baba Yaga's goal inside of Cooking Companions. By the end of your first playthrough, you're getting hit with a lot of information. The Chompettes are in a state of disarray, they're dropping vague hints as to their backstories, your Cooking Companion Karen is starting to get real hungry for your flesh, and you're constantly passing out, flashing through weird weird hallucinations. It is in the middle of this chaos that we encounter Potato hiding inside of a drawer, and he asks us the following. You seem to survive almost anything. Do I have that right? Must be that addiction to the meat. <laughs> Or something else. Would you share hmm. that secret with me? It's at this point that we can ah. actually choose to tell him whatever it is that he wants to yes. know so badly. If you do share the secret with him, he responds with, I'm living longer than expected already, but this is good information to take with me. So that basically confirms that the information he wants what? is related to extending your life. You click in by accident. But then how do you do it? That brings us all no, the way back around to cannibalism no, and deep. Raziel. I Some folktales say up. that the Baba Yaga stays young by eating children. And while we search the cabin, we stumble across drawings of a small child being fed meat by a large black monster. We're told that these drawings are made by none other than Raziel. So this appears to be depicting the Baba Yaga preparing to consume our young little cornbread friend. But the Baba Yaga's eaten countless people before. It's why we keep seeing spirits of the dead all around the cabin. So what makes Raziel so different? Why did they move on to become cornbread rather than just stay in another angry spirit? Well, I think that's explained away by this drawing right here. A small boy surrounded by horrific faces. Were you fattening him up, or were you scaring the hell out of him while you hesitated? One does not simply eat kids, one does try to fatten them up before consumption. However, Raziel was different because the Baba Yaga started to connect with him. It started to care for the boy. We're told throughout the story that Raziel was a fountain of pure life and energy, a joy for everyone around him. I suspect, as Potato rightly calls out, that the Baba Yaga started to hesitate. It knew that it needed to consume Raziel to continue living, but it didn't want to sacrifice such a loving and sweet child. 
Eventually, the Baba Yaga does consume him, but the damage is done. The Baba Yaga continues killing and surviving, but does so begrudgingly, as Potato repeatedly calls out in the main game, we're slipping, we're getting sloppy, we don't care as much about what we're doing anymore. Because in the end, what good is eternal life if you have to be a lonely monster in order to get it? But hey! At this point, I think it's pretty darn clear that since Cooking Companions first came out, Wait, we don't even touch the on the Mariah but ending? while I was waiting patiently hmm. for this DLC to drop, I had time to invest in something else, the stock market. Markets, thanks in large part to today's sponsor, public.com. When I was growing up, my parents were afraid of the stock market. And to be fair, I understand also, completely where they were I'm sorry, coming Matt from. Hat. Nice touch is that they make it easy. Good thing they add. You'll get a free stock. Sorry, just Matt learn Pat how everything works without risking dumb, a penny. And, and if you want, you can always follow me in the app, at MattPatGT, to no. see what trends I follow. <laughs> and maybe that'll give you an idea of where to start. Once again, make sure you go to public.com slash MattPat, or click oh, the link a, in the description it's the to end. free stock for okay. <laughs> That's interesting. I feel like there's some stuff. Uh, Nothing makes I sense. Feel, I feel like there's some stuff that isn't really explained still. Like, especially the Mariah ending, because it's just like, how did we loop back? I don't understand that specifically. That one is a part that makes the least sense. Yeah. And then also, he mentioned that, uh, I think, that, were you here when I asked about the thing? What thing? Uh, so you mentioned the face, but, uh, we also see that face a lot, I'm trying to find it. Yeah. Uh, because there's also, the, there's a face here, but he thinks that's a Baba Yaga. I mean, Photoshop. I, I don't Cranking know, up the man. Exposure gives but you this. we see this Not face constantly. Cages and hostage Even while we're playing as the Baba Yaga. Straight out of Silence of the Lambs. But in a, when you see it, you'll poop bricks moment. Where? If you look back here, yep, that is. We see oh, yeah, this no, face constantly. That, that's just a face. Yeah, and he thinks it's the Baba Yaga. I but... don't think it's the Baba Yaga. I think he's full of shit. <laughs> yeah, because we, we see Pat, this. Pat, yeah, we see this shit. face while we're even playing as the Baba Yaga. That's the thing. Yeah. Which is, I, I feel like that's, I feel like it's the weakest part of this theory, in my opinion. Yes. Uh, I mean, like the rest of it. I feel like. Also, I feel like uh, there was this other part. He mentioned that the kids actually. Run. We never got a scene where it looks like they run away. Which makes. Yeah, this scene here. We No, we saw this. We saw we them saw running? Some, we saw the image closed. of them the last all, thing that like, we see children running for their lives. Yeah, this? no, we saw this. We, we saw, saw this? this? I don't remember it. Yeah. Okay. Except for Rhina, who's surprisingly. Yeah, no, that happened. Hey, I didn't remember this for some reason. Okay. Idiot. Might just be me. Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. Baba Yaga comes, kills the kid and the potato, and that's what we end up with. Okay. Uh, so I, I don't know where the Mariah thing is. And it's not even mentioned this. Maybe that maybe the Mariah ending was just added. That'd be funny. I don't know. Man. I don't know. Anyways, uh, I think that's gonna be it for tonight. I'm gonna look a little further into the All right. other endings, um, but uh, I think that's gonna be it for the stream. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna look into the Mariah ending and try to figure that out. I'm just right, interested, but I'm gonna do that after. Um, sure. um, I'm yeah. gonna disappear now. All right, have a good night, Dapper. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Anyways, that's gonna be it for tonight, gamers. I hope you guys all enjoyed. I'll be back Monday with some showers. Hope to see you guys then. We'll be starting a new visual novel. Uh, Friday. Uh, actually, before I leave, before I leave. Uh, let's see here. What I'm thinking, thinking class of oh nine. Class of 09 seems like it'd be fun. Is there just a raid? I guess. I think, I think, I mean, I think Dapper would enjoy this. I think we're going to play Class of 09. Easy door. Okay, uh. Let me pull up the page of this person then. Alright, give me just a minute. Let's see here. That work. OBS is lagging. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Sorry about that. OBS lag. Uh, TV slash easy door. Who's this person?
Not loading. Weird. That's because it's not actually on Twitch. Why are you even like M Twitch? I'm not. There we go. Let's see, who is this person? <laughs> what is this? Looking for birds or something? Okay. We can try rating them, I guess. Um. All right. Hope you guys all enjoyed. I'll be back. Um. Yeah, as I said again, Monday, 7 p.m. CST. Hope to see you guys then. Until next time, I am not your father. I'm Have a good night, everyone. Bye bye. Looks so raid.